welcome to the computer game show. Yeah! I am Sean Bell. <laughs> yeah! Is this Woo! is this you celebrating me being back on the internet? Yeah. Or are you just you just excited to do the show? <laughs> oh, that's a bit of both, actually. Yeah. I'm joined by Matt Murray. Woo! And James Farley. Yeah. <laughs> Is this how excited you get when I've been away for a, oh. four days? Uh, no, no, we, we, we've missed you. So, so, so you came online and we said, don't say anything. Let's save it for the pod. So yeah. we, we've we've said two words to each other. So how are you, Sean? How does it feel to, be, to uh, have been away? It, it feels, I mean, it feels really strange because obviously all I've done, because normally, you know, when we do the show, it's like, there's been like checking the doc, you know, the Google doc, checking the tweets, you know, for questions and the emails and stuff like that. But at, no, I've just turned up and I've just loaded up Discord and Audacity, and we're just I feel yeah. I feel like very much at your mercy, guys. Okay, it's, it's can, a strange sure, feeling. Can I just ask you? Yeah. Have you cheated? Yeah. No, no. You sure? I'm pretty positive. Why? Just wondered. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, well, yeah, well, I mean, it, you say that, but like. It, in like the day, a couple of days before, you said you watched a Bungie stream, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah I watched the yeah the Bungie vidoc just because I figured it wasn't strictly E three related. <laughs> yeah, I That's mean that shocking, was, wasn't it? Though. It was e, I mean, it was an E three conference basically in the week yeah. of E three. Was it? It was it was the week before. It was on like the Thursday. Yeah, but EA starts and it wasn't on the Friday, an E3 and the, we had it Stadia. <laughs> we had Stadia on the same day as well. Like, do you know? Yeah, but I skipped that. That was different. Do you know anything about Stadia at all? Nope. Oh, Should we I tell really, that? I haven't really written. I haven't really, really written any notes for that, so we can try. Oh well, yeah, because so the, so this happened on the Thursday, didn't it? And I said, yeah. like, look, just tell me if I should avoid it, and you were like, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, it was it Go was on. it was only like thirty minutes, and Matt and I like we talked over it, and right. um, yeah, I mean. <sighs> I mean, even Matt came away from that a bit deflated. Which really? Was, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. It, I, it I didn't think we'd be talking about it, so let me just get the website up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was a weird one. So, Sean, you know how... What yeah. were you expecting Stadia was going to be? Um, What, in terms of... Like, it, what, in, in what way? Well, like, in terms of, like, the overall offering yeah, how, and... How, yeah, what would the service have? You know, like what would it cost? That kind of thing. Did you have any? Well, any obviously, the, the dream is that it would just be a subscription, right? And it is a subscription. And it'll just be like, yeah. okay, and it'll just be Netflix style, and that, like, I mean, that would be the ideal if because yeah. you know they sold it on that first presentation. Did it was all like, hey, you could just be watching a video about a game, and then it'll be click this, and you can just play it. Yeah. So that sort of seamlessness um, would be amazing if that's. I mean, what? Come on. Okay. I so feel like you <laughs> there, there is a subscription. How okay. would you like, Sean, to pay a subscription yeah. every month so yeah. that you can then keep buying the games you already own? Wait, what? Yeah. It's <laughs> Okay. How, how do you mean how does that work? Okay, so basically there's no there is no Netflix style library. That doesn't exist. Right. At, at expect- least not yet. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Right. So what they're expecting instead is that you're gonna pay a subscription of how much was it, Matt, each month? It was ten ninety nine. Okay, ten ninety nine right. a month, and mm-hmm. then you get one free game, which yeah. happens to be Destiny Two. Oh right, yeah, <laughs> okay. which is going yeah. free to play anyway later. Oh, so, so, yeah. Sorry, no, yeah, no, yeah. It, it, it's eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Okay. Okay. And then, if you want to play more games, you have to buy them like from the Google Store. So plus the subscription. Plus the subscription, yes. Fuck yeah! Uh, but, uh, but, Although, but, okay, so yeah, yeah, so it, it's 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 not quite that. So basically, you pay for just like Stadia that. Pro, which is the <laughs> month is a subscription eight ninety nine a month. That gives right. you up to four K, six frames a second, five point one surround sound, that sort of stuff. You still have to right. buy the games, as you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Stadia Pro gives you access to that library, which starts off. Uh, did you with just one mention game. the game? L- yeah. Library with one game. It's not yeah. a library. It's one <laughs> game. <laughs> That's but, a shelf with yeah, one book. It on starts off with one game, and we'll tell you about the game in a minute. But basically, next okay. year is Stadia Base, and that is a fully free subscription for streaming up okay. to 1080p. When yeah, I, which actually, right. I think that will cover 95% of people. You know. Like, Oh, yeah, because realistically, most people aren't going to be able to stream in 4K exactly. anyway, right? If it's, if it's also, like phones and or like tablets and or laptops, they're yeah. not going to need 4K. They're also launching with uh, 30 games. That's the... Uh, 30? I mean, yes. that's not that's not loads. No. Right, go on. Are no. there any, any heavy hitters or is it... No, it's all 
just Ubisoft stuff. And it's all stuff like you've got it's, already, yeah. you know. <laughs> and it's like if you, they've got like a list of partners they're working with, and they've got like like EA were on the list and Rockstar on the get, are on the list, but both yeah. with TBD, Rockstar. like <laughs> after their name as well. <laughs> So I mean, it's it's pretty safe to say that the the announcement didn't catch the internet on fire. Um, yeah. yeah it was, Have you told Sean what the game is? You get the first game. Yeah, it's Destiny Two. Yeah, yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Destiny Two, so, the entire collection. It's got all the pass and and new so, stuff. But that's not even like obviously the way Destiny Two works. So like not like the state sharing and stuff. None of that will no it won't work. work. Yeah. No. So it won't really show any of that off. Mm-hmm. That's a weird choice. And it's as you say, it's a game that's going free to play anyway. But then, then hmm. they showed off a bunch of games, and yeah. one of them was exclusive to Stadia, and okay. the rest of them were all just coming out on everything else as well. And it's right. um, what it's was one... the exclusive one? Oh, I can't even remember. It, it was <laughs> it, it was a game called uh, Gu- uh, Guilt, and it's made by right. the people. It's, it's Mark... te- Tequila Works, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tequila it. Works, oh, right? Okay. Yeah. Done some awesome okay. stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is like a three D a three D character in this site. I think it might be like a, a bedroom or a house, and this person had a torch. It was very, very hard to actually work out what was happening, but but yeah. that was that. Um, you can also pre-order now uh, for the Founders uh, edition of Stadia. Yeah, if you and want to be a beta right. tester, you can yeah. pay <laughs> Google pay 150 pounds. And <laughs> fuck, <laughs> no, 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 it's 120 pounds. Sorry, sorry, 120 pounds <laughs> to get Stadia Founders edition. That includes three months of right. Stadia Pro. So yeah. free lots of date eight ninety nine thing. You get a, mm-hmm. a founder's badge on your your name. You get to <laughs> you get to you get to lock in your name so no one else will take Matt Murray. Um, you get you you get a a Chromecast Ultra, which I think is decent because they're worth like eighty or seventy eighty quid anyway. Yeah, they're like seventy eighty yeah. quid. Yeah. And you also get uh, this. You get the pads in this like midnight blue color. Uh, and you also get a buddy pass, which means you get three months of Steady Pro to give to a friend. So actually, I mean, okay. a lot so, of people said you know, this is a bit shit. Actually, I think this is uh, uh, this is great value, regardless of how you think natural service is going to work. The fact that you get yeah, you get three like months if you yourself, needed three months from a mate, the pad Chromecast Ultra, which isn't just for this, it could, you can use that for streaming all sorts of 4K stuff, and yeah, yeah. it's not just for Steady specifically. I think but, that's really good value. But the point is, yeah. is why would I, as somebody who owns like a PS4 Pro, buy a copy of a new game to play streaming and it might not work properly over just buying it on a console? Well, yeah, no, no, this... yeah, yeah, but, 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 yeah, but the fact is, it, it may, and and you should, you should think it will work properly. And the idea is that you get the option of playing it wherever you want. But you don't, do you? Because that was the other thing that they announced. Well, yeah. So it's <laughs> so on. you know the you know the whole thing about you know the the USP of this is you can play anywhere. And yeah. it turns out you can't because in the beginning, well, the, oh, you God. can't streaming. The, yeah, the st- okay, okay. That's you know, it's still you can't. <laughs> the, the streaming at launch will only be to yeah. Pixel smartphones. Like it's what? yes. Oh fuck off! What excuse is there for well, that? No, no, no. I, I, they're doing that. I, I think so, so. There's not like something like millions of people testing it. So uh, rubbish. Like a, Come on, sta- this is Google. It's a staggered. It's a staggered launch. Oh, I don't know, man. This is that, that's the best. Like... If they said, okay, now every, like a billion Android devices and a billion iOS devices can play it, they're like, it's going to crash servers. It's going to look shit. If rubbish. They say, if this, if this if was they say, Nintendo, I'd buy that. If you've got Pixel, then it's, it's a staggered like. But why not? Why not just release? do like a, a phased like closed beta? Just get people to sign up if well, they're interested. That's exactly what this is. The first phase is do have a pixel phone <laughs> you own a certain phone that happens to yeah, be made yeah, by it google it is a phase b yeah that's exactly yeah. what it is but the only way that you can do it is through the chromecast on your tv so you're basically right. just buying you're just buying a console but a bad one that isn't likely to be as good as what you've well, already yeah, got I mean, considering half the selling point was like hey guys you don't need a console anymore yeah. Sounds like at least you need hardware, yeah, certainly. So at least yeah. at this stage, so I yeah, don't know. yeah, because you need a Pixel mm. phone, but all, to play it on other devices. But actually, the only way to play it in November when it launches is to buy that Founders Edition. Mm. If you don't buy that, right. you can't play it at all until next. Not year. even, not, not even in browser, because that was no. what they already tried. No, 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 no. Not, yeah. all that stuff's yeah. coming later. So wow, the only way okay. to play it in November is to to buy the Stadia Founders Edition for 120 quid. The only way to, only way to play it on things that aren't your TV. Is by also having a Pixel phone. Um, Amazing. Yeah. I mean, so this this was a this was a fun hors d'oeuvre, you know, before E three. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus just, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> just to yeah, remember what disappointment feels like. Yeah. Yeah. You I mean, I'll, I'll, to in terms course. of like what you can get, basically, you only need like ten meg or fifteen meg to get ten eighty p. If you want four K streaming, you need thirty five mm. meg. So okay, which I think is doable for a lot of people. I mean, it obviously depends around the world, but yeah. yeah. Um, 
It's it's interesting. interesting. I mean, we, yeah. we both left that. We both left watching that, thinking like, it's really pointless. I thought they were like, I thought they were trying to own E3 by absolutely crushing it, saying oh, maybe maybe not it's out today, but some like shocking. Well, like, it, oh yeah, my god! Like, like these guys are going to come in and own the conversation of E3, but they just didn't. And it's just like, what have you really? You told us there's a prize and it comes out in November, but I don't know. There's still a lot yeah. of questions. Well, this was it. Like, so the reason I, I swerved this, but I thought the Bungie one was fine because the Bungie one was just like, yeah, it's about the new expansion. Have a look. Um, whereas this was like, ooh, E3 can't wait for us or whatever. Yeah, we can't wait for E3. Sorry. Um, so I figured it was going to be quite a big deal, but yeah, shame. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I still think you, I still think you, you kind of cheated by, by, by watching it, watching a Destiny thing. But, but speaking of, speaking well, what's of, that spoiled? Well, because it's it was, just... it, was, it was the start of the E3 news cycle. Anyway, yeah. speaking okay. of, speaking of uh, cheating, um, yeah, uh, James, on last week's, uh, on last week's show, yeah, go on. you, uh, you said this. <laughs> that also means so, Sean, like, no, you can't be on your Switch or PlayStation or Xbox. I mean, you were on Xbox. I can, can't I just sign them out? Yeah, you can do that. That's that's what I do because I. I, I, what's I it, what's it, there's no news feed, is there? With that? Yeah, because you can do that with like with Switch. I just put it in airplane mode for like the whole time, yeah. and then you don't get yeah, anything I, I anyway. Guess, so yeah. it's, it's fine. I guess. So so last year, James, you um. Yeah, or, or whatever year it was, you put it in airplane mode, didn't you? Your actually, actually, you're thinking switch. back to this. I didn't do that. Before you say anything, <laughs> James, no, no, this, no, this no, no, James, I'm playing the audio <laughs> clip now. Just... Yeah, you can play. You can play the audio <laughs> clip. That's <laughs> that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Hang well, on. Uh, this is the third piece and your final piece of evidence that I would like to hear your explanation for. Before we started recording today, I thought, I'm do you know what? I'll just check his switch profile. Yeah. And it said you oh, were right remember six this. days ago. Yeah. Right. I can... I can yeah. No, no, uh, Matt, James, listen. Hang on. No, James, no, listen, listen I know what this is all going to be about. What? You're going to be saying, oh, what how does it... No, I've already heard the audio. <laughs> okay, I know well, what's that happened. That wouldn't have been me, because I wasn't even in the country. Exactly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was a portable console, James. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't take it with me. Rachel's been using it the whole time. <laughs> but no, Ra- okay. Rachel, Rachel's like, had it, because that's another thing that I, I okay. knew that it'd be something like that, but it's... Yeah. Okay, so 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 okay. did you have an airplane so mode, or did you not have it with you? What was the? No, here's what happened, right? Because I cannot. This Matt, this was like a. How long ago was this? Was this two years ago now? To answer the question, James. Okay, <laughs> I didn't take my switch with me when I went to Hong Kong. I actually took my Vita with me, and I played that, and to the point where I nearly missed my plane because I was playing Killzone on it, and it was awful. Okay, okay, I had to yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, a cl- this is classic. You know, like someone lies. There's lots of detail. Like we didn't need to know about the Vita and the missed plane. Go on. Well, either way, and then the the switch was left at home, and the kids played it. So that's it. So, so but was it in airplane mode, or did you have it with you in airplane mode? Matt, we did this. We did this. We did this two years ago, Matt. I don't know why you're bringing it up again now. <laughs> I do, but after last week, after last week's show, I just 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 rang a bell. I mean, I, I still don't think we're any clearer on that. But let's go on to well, E3 I just told you what happened uh, two years ago. I told you what happened as well. <laughs> yeah, you said you took your veto on the plane. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. I mean, that is a strange choice to make, but yeah, all right, whatever. E3... I did take my Vita on the plane. Okay, yeah. and you almost missed the plane, apparently. Yeah. E3 2019. I had to um... run between fucking terminals, Matt. It was awful. <laughs> okay, I, I don't... It isn't home alone, James. And I'm an asthmatic. I mean, it was... I mean, I'm overweight, and it was awful. And I was coughing when I got on the plane, and everyone was staring at me. Yeah, it yeah, was horrible. but... but so, so you didn't have... So why did you say you had your Switch with you, and you had on airplane mode, and actually you say you left it? No, I said you can do that. I completely forgot that I didn't do that, because I didn't take it with me. <laughs> no, don't get excited. It like, was yeah, two you years can. ago. <laughs> do, you, do, do you want me to play the audio again? Do you can or you did? Which one is it? <gasps> what are you talking about? It was two years ago, Matt. It doesn't matter. I didn't take my switch with me. It was. It, I don't know. It wasn't in airplane mode because I left it at home. Oh, but you said it. You said it was. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. Jesus. Um, right. It's ridiculous. E3 2019. Hey, what happened? Um, it started off with EA Play. Now again, I didn't take any notes for this. James, did you? Yeah. Uh, for what for EA Play? No, I took no notes at all. Because yeah. what's the point? I mean, it was just a couple of. Yeah, like, so you know. they, they they started off on a Saturday uh, with like live streams from like quarter past five uh, mm. f- for like five or maybe like two for, for three hours or so. It started off with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, um, oh, yeah. and, and that does look excellent. It looks really was there, really good. Was there, was there gameplay? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a gameplay okay. demo. I think they may start cool. off with a trailer. Then it's a gameplay demo for like uh, 10, mm-hmm. 15 minutes. It looks Episodes. excellent. I think it, it, like combat-wise, it looks across the teams of Arkham Knight, a little bit Dark Soulsy in some regards, in that you can't just, like okay. run into enemies. You've got to come back and like you mm-hmm. know, see how they're going to potentially like attack you. Um, mm-hmm. I thought it looked really, really fantastic. Uh, really, really cinematic. Um, and yeah, it, it, it got me pumped for the game. What do you think, James? Yeah, I also, I mean, I've seen people sort of sneering at it and everything, but I thought it looked oh, pretty good. You? I mean, yeah, there's, you know, there's always people on the internet well, yeah, sneering I know, at stuff. Bankers, but what, 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 what are people complaining about exactly? Well, no, because they were just saying, like, oh, it looks very, like, sort of generic and not very interesting and all that kind of thing. But I don't know, I, I thought it looked good. I also feel, I feel more excited about it now than I did before, you know, before the event. Yeah, and I also it's say, oh, the character's really, like, boring and lame, but, and, and yeah, maybe to look at, but we don't know what his, his arc or his story is, but... Yeah, gameplay wise, at least it looks really, really solid, and the, well, also, that's something excited me the most. And it's respawn, and they haven't made like a bad single player game ever, exactly, have they? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you know, it'll yeah. be good. In terms of story, cool. I mean, I, I haven't really looked too much into it, but I was all led to believe that this was like a total origin story, and actually, you didn't know about your powers and stuff. But in the demo, he had like lightsabers and all sorts. And they did oh, okay. try and stress afterwards, like, oh, this is. The, by the way, this is like a good player playing this, so it isn't just going to be like you go through and smash every single enemy because mm-hmm. you've got use of the force or a lightsaber. It's apparently right, going to yeah. take a bit to understand the systems, but yeah, regardless. Mm-hmm. Um, it got me really pumped, uh, and yeah, it, it, like we might finally have a good Star Wars game on our hands yeah. if, if EA don't cancel it, um, of course, before that. <laughs> um, they also did like FIFA, uh, FIFA, Madden, uh, and Sim streams. Uh, FIFA looks good, all the usual stuff. Uh, there was mm. a very brief sort oh, of yeah. like... Um, Matt, you're not going to... I'm sure Sean really wants to know about the new features that have been added to FIFA. I mean, I love football yeah. and, and I really enjoy FIFA, but like the FIFA stream, there's like, they went into like ridiculous detail about the new systems <laughs> and this and the other. I thought they're going to lose a lot of crowd. Even people who are massively into FIFA uh, would put probably switch off. Uh, there's only one other bit I really want to talk to is that there was a very brief interlude like between streams where they talked about right. Anthem. Um, I'm not okay. sure. This this guy came on. I I apologise. I don't know. Don't remember his name. I'm not sure if he's like a community guy. I don't think or... he's listening. I think it's like... no. I don't know if he's a community guy. But basically, like uh, Greg Miller from Kind of Funny was presenting it and said, look, fundamentally, okay. like you know. Um, what, what have you guys been up to and he's like we've been working really hard taking a lot of criticism on board well, he didn't say criticism but t- taking a lot of feedback on board we're constantly <laughs> working hard and Greg just said look is there a future for Anthem it's like there definitely is we're working hard to improve okay. it every single day but it was just literally right. like a 60 second interview in between the real games how, which I thought was interesting but weird. at least they didn't toe shove it on, you know, under the carpet and, and whatnot. yeah 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 it, it got a mention well they yeah. essentially did Pushed onto the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's sort of <laughs> in, yeah, in between the big games. Um, yeah. But anyway, th- that was EA Play. Uh, then it was Sounds Xbox great. on on Sunday night. Sunday night yeah. at nine. Shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, this was so just that, one. right. So this was one thing that was interesting. So when I went offline, I was like. Do you know what? This is great because I don't actually remember when any of the conferences are, so I'm not. Gonna, I'm not even going to be thinking about it. And then. Um, it was like on Saturday I had to check my calendar for something and of course it loaded up the TCGS calendar where Matt had helpfully put all the conference times <laughs> I was like oh for fuck's sake yeah, yeah. So- <laughs> although oh, one yeah. of those was wrong yeah. Matt you know you got one of those was wrong you one? got the Devolver Digital wrong oh yeah, wrong. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I got confused because I thought yeah it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I know mean, you missed that because of you <laughs> you know it's uh... <laughs> Um, so yeah, so, so Xbox. We, let's start from the top. Um, mm-hmm. So it, it, for those of you listening, last week we did like our predictions and stuff about first game, last game, and other events. We're not really going to discuss the scoring and stuff and anything about it this week. We're going to cover those next week. Um, mm-hmm. So I but guess you could like, say we were all bang wrong uh, with the predictions. <laughs> <beginning, so laughs> yeah. say uh, oh, it, God, it wasn't, it wasn't a great E3. Um, uh, it does a point. <laughs> so it starts off the first game on the Xbox. Uh, show was the outer worlds from obsidian oh oh okay yeah. which is i uh, mean yeah i, I mean know. i'm really excited about that game but i didn't think it was a, a yeah show star. I, I was quite like surprised <laughs> i think it's because okay. it was one of the you know it's like this is one of our games now even though it's not you know it's because it's obsidian yeah. isn't it so you know yeah it's coming out on ps4 it is <laughs> yeah but it's still <laughs> it's still like you know obsidian blog. you'll see a theme with it, this conference uh i was sure. gonna say is it's this gonna a, be another like Arguably the best show, but still no reason to actually buy an Xbox. Let, let's yeah. continue, Matt. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, let's carry on. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I think I thought it looked really, really good, and I, I'm yeah. not really typically into a sort of 
Fallout style games, uh, but mm. but this looked excellent actually. Um, uh, this definitely piques my interest way more than if they said here's a new Fallout. I just I've never I, yeah. I, I've merely I've never really, never played a Fallout, um, but uh, when I see them, I just get I just get instantly bored. But yeah, this, this and the trailer looked good. It had like good sort of like humor. It looked good, and mm-hmm. there's like lots 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 of things to do. So um, you, you love Fallout games, don't you, James? Are you interested in? I this? do. Yeah, I mean this this looked it did look great, Sean. Like it really yeah. looked great. Like they had like all like the sort of decisions and all that kind of stuff you can make as well. Like, like sort of like you know you can be an arsehole or just mm-hmm. try and help people and stuff. And yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Looked, it looked fantastic. And like visually, well, yeah, it, it's. It's by the people who made the the better Fallout. Yeah, yeah, it's by New Vegas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. no, it's, it, it was a this was class. Like watching this, it was yeah. it was a really it was a good opener. Yeah, cool. it, it, right. it felt different because I was we were expecting I mean like you know, some of the big IPs that we're used to, but it was it's cool we did it. The next game uh, was actually leaked a few days before, maybe the day or so before. Sadly, okay. but this is the new game from Ninja Theory. Mm-hmm. It's called Bleeding Edge. It's a four v four action melee combat game. Felt sort of overwatchy, like that they like introduced yeah. a lot of characters and they had like their own names and there's like cool graphics on screen and showing off. It was not the cool styles. graphics. Okay, it well, was... they, 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 <laughs> I mean, not stylized graphics with a name and yeah. it, it, it I, felt I, very much like that. I, I was disappointed by this, to be honest, because it's like, really? I mean, it's clear. I mean, they said that they've been working on this before they were like bought by Microsoft or whatever, but yeah, 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 many, many years. Mm. It's just like another, you know, it's a. You know, because Ninja Theory have been known for doing like really good like narrative games, haven't they? Like recently, yeah, really strong single player stuff. Yeah. So yeah, to and then see them this... getting on the the hero. Yeah. Uh, I was just like uh... multiplayer stuff. And maybe, also the yeah, visual style, why... not impressed either. I, I I'm not a okay. fan of that. And it, yeah, I mean the, the visual great. style. It, it, was it sort of cell shaded kind of? Yeah. Or like yeah. yeah. It, I mean, mm-hmm. it did nothing for me. And even like the the trailer in, in general didn't really do anything for me, like graphically and. You know, uh, I, I mean, obviously Just, Ninja Theory yeah. are well regarded, so I'll see. But I wasn't it like, oh, I'll need a four, I'll need a four v four action melee combat game. I just didn't. Did not perform. Yeah, because I'm just trying to think. Because the last one of those we had was bloody. Anarchy Reigns by Platinum, which no yeah, yeah. one played. And a lot of people said Anarchy Reigns when this was announced yeah. on Twitter. Like, it's a new Anarchy right. Reigns. But uh, <laughs> it's, it got a lot of the same vibe for sure. But, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm up for that. Yeah. Um, following that was Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Um, is okay. another trailer we obviously know this game is going to be good, uh, mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, I, I, and uh, but I, I didn't really say much more really. It just it looks yeah. good, and it, we know it's going to be a great game. Next yeah, was yeah. Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, I Whoa. think this was announced last year, I believe, wasn't it? I've no idea. Which what is this? Yeah, so this is a it's third like Diablo. Person, yeah, it's like <laughs> oh. a third person mm-hmm. sort of um, top down. Co-op, multiplayer co-ops or dungeon crawler. Yeah, basically, a, 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 okay. the Diablo, but in a Minecraft sort of universe. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I mean, does a, it again, look any good? <laughs> it's, it it doesn't look good for me. I mean, yeah. maybe. I mean, about how, was, how about you, James? I mean, it was it was at this point in the chat as we were watching this that we were like, let's hope they're getting all the like rubbish out of the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, not, not not rubbish, but all the stuff that's like not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As interesting, yeah. Warming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you've got like, Outer Worlds, which was blinding, and then you've got. Yeah this stuff when you're just like oh okay yeah and, 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 and ori will be good it's just like okay we know about ori and but yeah, yeah. like i was like okay they're probably just getting the crap out of the way even though i think ori will probably be a blinding <laughs> game uh film and how comes... was they how was this presented Did anyone come out on stage at this point uh, no, just, this trailer, was no, just like trailer trailer okay. trailer yeah. okay yeah yeah so it's, it's very similar to last year so they had like a massive like right. the marks of massive marks of theater just outside mm-hmm. e3 same sort of thing yeah. you know massive stage mm-hmm. Yeah, they said I like, walked to the show, kicked off with these trailers, but now Phil comes out on stage. He had this like really impassioned speech at the beginning. I think he might have done awful. this last year, actually. Oh, you didn't it, it like it, James? It, well, come on. It was all that, like, you know, as gamers, we can connect <laughs> people and work together and solve the world's problems. You know, it was like that. It was that kind of thing. It was. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of like embarrassing. It was, you know. It's it was very much like our, our, our core ethos of Microsoft is about connecting people. Everyone, everyone yeah. could play on every. Well, he didn't say explicitly, Blech. but say essentially like Blech. everyone could play on every platform. Everyone could play together. Yeah. He's like, we work new creators. Blah blah blah. We blah, can blah, change yeah. the world. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. By, like it's, it's, it's like <laughs> the power of games for the for the power of goods and society yeah. It is. Yeah. It was the kind Christ. of thing where you just kind of feel maybe this. Yeah, you know, this isn't a great idea, you know, to have these conferences <laughs> anymore. It's like it's better just to show stuff. <laughs> well, you know, how do the... you think they should scrap it because he made one impassioned speech? 
Yeah, because these speeches are embarrassing, aren't they? I, I didn't I think don't it know. was. I, I thought it was like a it was a nice positive like thing to to kick off. I did, I wasn't like, oh god, this is really cringeworthy. He was saying nice things. I'm like, this, you know, it, it's so rare that you get yeah. someone I think, in games that you can actually like sort of believe oh, in. And... They say that kind of thing all the time. No, no, tech no, no, companies. No, no, no. <laughs> you get someone like Sean Layden, who we've like been yeah. to before. Like he's clearly like a suit. Whereas that feel feels like a bit more like a normal person. And all the stuff Microsoft have done <laughs> over the last like couple of years. But as he just had better media training. Basically, well, yeah. Know, he, he, seems, he seems way more real than other other execs do, basically. And mm-hmm. yeah, I, I was I don't think it's a cringeworthy. I'm, I'm sure like he's nice into games. I'm sure that he's totally into games, and I'm sure all that sort of stuff. But I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know. I, all those sorts of speeches, they just I find it a bit. I mean, no, makes you cringe. No one who's ever looked at a comment section or had their headset on while playing with strangers on Xbox Live has ever thought, do you know what? Gamers are cool and can make, make real social change. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. The crowd were loving it. I mean, there was lots yeah. of woos going on. Oh, we're we're, we're going to cover the crowd in general E3 this year. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the yeah. Microsoft one, I was planning to like count the woos, but it, I couldn't. It was it was just off the off the trail yeah, like, right. for like two minutes really, yeah. Uh, and that was definitely a theme throughout the whole all the conferences so far. So after yeah. that, he said they're showing off sixty games, fourteen Xbox Studio games, uh, thirty four playing on Game Pass. They said we're going to talk about X Cloud, and we're going to also announce what's coming next. And obviously, yeah. there was a million Whoa. woos there. Yeah. Um, there was next next follow up with a, a followed up with a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order trailer. Mm-hmm. I think this was different to the ones you may have seen before EA, but yeah, once was, again, I think I think it was it slightly amazing. different and also looked really good. Like this was, I think, because this was a bit better than what they showed at EA Play. I thought because it, it, yeah, yeah. It, it did make it yeah look look um look significantly better. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I had all like, the sort of Star Wars music. It felt much more like a Star Wars movie trailer. Uh, mm-hmm. It just, oh yeah, I, it, like, that, that, that trailer's got me really, really excited. Um, next, it was a uh, world premiere. Uh, you're going to hear that a lot. <laughs> and um, it's, a, it's a CGI trailer, uh, first person, mm-hmm. someone running through woods. They're running up to this like rickety old shack in the middle of the night. They're sort of like bit busy, like, you, know, try, you know, looking around with a torch, trying to look around the corners of this, of this, this old shack. It cuts to some other scary things. Someone, pull, mm-hmm. like, again, it's like still running away from shadows in the woods and stuff. Uh, this person runs again back into the uh, shack. Uh, he looks into the corner. There's someone staring into the corner of the of the shack. Does this ring a bell yet? Is this Blair Witch? It is Blair Witch, yeah. So um, that's the thing, because before that <laughs> moment, I I really, and I, a lot of people have thought this, like it looked like, okay, this is Remedy. This is a new Alan Wake yeah, game. Yeah, it, it, it really is super yeah. Yeah. like Alan Wake. <laughs> but uh, then it was that, and it was like, oh, it's, it's Blair Witch. But yeah, it's yeah, still just it, looks, it's a new yeah, game. Yeah. It just it just called Blair Witch. Um, yeah, like uh, that, that that's it really. I mean, it's quite yeah. yeah I, I had no idea, but when, as soon as I saw someone face in the corner, which is still like the scariest ending to a, a film I've ever seen, yeah, um, yeah. I was like, oh fuck, it's Blair Witch. Um, we don't know anything <laughs> about else, else about it. I mean. Um, but uh, things will probably come out in the next few days. In fact, that's what's different this year for you, Sean. It has been like previous years of certainly me and James. Like when me and James mm. had our weeks off, we had like an entire week off. By, by which point, E three was actually over. You're yeah. you're now coming on the day of the last conference. So actually, when you go back online after we record, you've still got like two or three days of, of E three. The conferences, yeah, yeah, so the conferences are done, but the actual show. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. Still, so, 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 yeah, so there's yeah. there's things we're going to say here that you, you you might learn more about, or especially about yeah. hands on and and stuff. But uh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of stuff, because so much has happened in the last couple of days, I haven't really had a lot of time to watch other things. So um, yeah, as far sure. as we know, it's a Blair Witch horror game. That's, that's all we know, really. Yeah, that is. Um, next thing, um, it's Cyberpunk. They're, oh, shit. Yeah, they're, they're starting earlier with this. Um, I mean, this I, haven't was, written, yeah. Yeah, I haven't written down lots of detail, but basically it was a Cyberpunk trailer and it looked incredible. Anything else you want to add, James? Yeah, can I I'll tell you... Sean, the funniest thing about this trailer, right, yeah. was that they were bleeping swear words during this conference. Oh, for God's sake. And so it was really funny. It sounded really <laughs> funny because you've got, like, like extreme violence going on here, like people yeah. being torn up and stuff, but then they were bleeping it as well. And we it, started to sound, yeah. Yeah, it started to sound like a comedy. Like, seriously, it sounded really, really funny. Yeah, it was it's getting really... a bit of development at a point. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was brilliant, but <laughs> but it was still a very good trailer. And then cool. things happened in it, which yeah. were yeah, yeah. A big shock. It, it was a it was a really amazing trailer. Yeah, one other thing mm-hmm. about swearing is that everyone these like, conferences they had like a Peggy 
or I guess like the US or like Pecky rating before the show. And so yeah. I don't know what Microsoft was, but clearly their one wasn't going to allow swearing, whereas others, they were saying all sorts. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, so Cyberpunk trailer happens. It looks amazing. Uh, I can't think of a lot of detail, but it looks stunning. Mm-hmm. Then the trailer ends, seems to end, then starts back up again. You see a right. cityscape. It's like it's it's like maybe mid morning. It's like really sunny. Uh, the POV is from the ground. You're you're lying down. You can, I think you maybe can see your legs in front of you. Um, mm. The camera then starts um, starts panning up. You see some legs in front of you. The camera pans up. It's Keanu fucking Reeves, Sean. Keanu Reeves <laughs> is in this game. He says, <laughs> "Wake up! We have a city to burn." And Keanu Reeves is in this game. Um, Basically, at this point, the crowd are absolutely <laughs> mental. It cuts, yeah, this, to, like, it the... cuts to the stage. <laughs> There's a door on the stage. The stage door opens. It's Keanu Reeves on stage. There's, like, I mean... there's smoke. There's light. The crowd are going absolutely mental. Yeah, right. Um, I promised myself that I wasn't going to spend this entire show saying that's bullshit. You're lying to me. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, it makes sense because he's. I know he's been doing loads of press because John Wick Three coming out. He's been all over the shop lately. So, and it kind of fits because obviously, like the Matrix was sort of cyberpunky. And uh, yeah, okay. Go on. Yeah, I mean, so, Sean, it was. It was. It was incredible, like the the, <laughs> the the crowd's reaction, but also his yeah. reaction as well. Like he came on yeah. and he, he looked really like he wasn't sure what was really going on. And <laughs> I mean, like, that's just his general yeah. demeanor, isn't it? <laughs> but, no, no, but even more so than usual. Yeah. And then yeah, like, yeah. there was people whooping at him and everything. It was <laughs> it was it was one of the. I mean, it was up there as like one of the best E three moments of all time. Oh, like, yeah, seriously, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, obviously, you know, everyone loves Keanu anyway. So like, yeah. to where, well, everyone basically it, like, we. We basically hosted every one of the uh, conferences on our Twitch channel, so people on, watching it on mm. our Twitch channel, like chatting and stuff. And everyone went mad there. Mm. People went mad on Twitter. <laughs> he seemed a bit like taken aback. Maybe he was like, "I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not doing like nervous laughing is probably the wrong way to say it." But he was like really beaming. And anyway, he was like, yeah, yeah. you know, saying some, some saying some things. Um, and basically, I think at one point, uh, oh yeah, he said, oh, look, "I've got to tell you about this game. I've got to tell you about this game." And everyone's like, "What?" He's like, look, and he's like, the game is amazing. It's breathtaking. And at that point, there's like a uh, like a silence. Well, it's like a, just a moment of silence. And someone said, "You're breathtaking." And he said, and, and then Keanu's back was like, "You're breathtaking." And then like the crowd went mad. Um, and yeah, and, and basically that person, uh, that person has now won a copy of Cyberpunk. I guess like CD Projekt Red. Although, so- <laughs> did you hear about the follow up to that, Matt? No, what's happened? He said that he doesn't want it, and he'd rather they donate the money to a charity. Oh, okay. Well, mm. that's, that's cool, uh, I guess. Yes, yeah. so thirty quid. It's <laughs> yeah, not really. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's an amazing moment. And after, she, you, yeah, she's like, "No, you're breathtaking." Anyway, but he's like, "Hey, I've got to tell you about the release date." Um, so, do you want to have a guess at when the release date is for Cyberpunk? Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Was it? It was supposed to be this year, right? I reckon they've put it back just because it seems like such a mad undertaking. Um, oh, fuck. Is it what? Is it like February next year? Uh, you're, you're not close. far off. It's uh, 16th okay. of April next year. Okay. Well, which, right, I mean, right. I cool. know that's technically, you know, well, like 10 months away or maybe nine, 10 months away, yeah. but, but that, that feels a lot sooner than I thought it would be for some reason. Well, was I know it meant to be this year? Have I made that up? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't I know if they ever conf- like said that. I mean, yeah. people may have hoped, but I always thought yeah. it'd be like a, you know, there's, there's a discussion at one off, point, yeah. maybe even be like a, a next gen thing. So, yeah, 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 yeah. April next year. Um, yeah, no, they, they confirmed cool. it's definitely like current gen systems, is what they're okay. going for. So, yeah. Yeah, there, there's there a is. collection edition for 250 quid if you want <laughs> to. No, your money no mention of a Stadia version. So, you know. <laughs> no, no, sadly not. Um, yeah, so that, that, that I mean, the Keanu coming out is literally one of the all time greatest E3 moments ever. Yeah, fair dues. Uh, one absolute hero. Um, there's another world premiere. Uh, world premiere, sorry. Mm. Uh, there's a game called Spit. A uh, spirit fairer. It's an indie mm-hmm. game. It, lo- it looks it looks gorgeous. Like with like uh, almost like rhyme like in terms of like the the, mm-hmm. the, the graphics. Um, it, I mean, it's hard, really hard to say exactly what you do. But basically, they had like things on the screen saying like build, explore, something mm-hmm. else. Maybe maybe talk to other characters. Do you know anything else about this game, James? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, it it, <laughs> I, it did nothing for me. So yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I've already it nice, but again, like with a lot of these things, there's a nice like CGI trailers and quite hard to watch to understand. What, there yeah, was also yeah. a lot of very similar looking indie games at this thing. Like, really? a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I followed up with Battletoads. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's real. That was because this was rumoured, right? 
Uh, no, it's I been think, confirmed I mean, for years, isn't it? This, yeah, this, yeah. This, this has been confirmed, isn't it? I'm sure they mentioned it last week, last year. No, I think oh, maybe. Last year, I think they said, yeah, we're, there's going to be a battle toast. Because didn't, like, Phil <laughs> Spencer came on stage, didn't he, with a battle toast? Yeah. Uh, battle toast. Oh, yeah, battle yeah, 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 yeah. toast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, it's a weird 2D fighting game with free player cou- uh, couch, uh, couch co op. Sounds about right. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, Sean, it looked. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I mean, I, I, sorry. I mean, it was described online as being like. Um, you know, do you remember like Live and Kicking? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember those games that we used to call up and you had to use a touch tone phone to play? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, like that. that's so that's so. I mean, you mentioned that yesterday. That's that's such a perfect way of describing it. <laughs> yeah, it was really much like that. I mean, I I have no affiliation oh. with Battle Toads. I haven't played the original game, so I don't know what it's about. But uh, yeah. yeah, I just wrote weird two D fighting game, but couch co op. If you want to do that, I mean, uh, I said during great. the thing. I think I can safely say like Battle Toads was never good. It was, uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. What, what it was yeah, Battle Toads a weird 2 defined game previously, or, or what? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, next game is also quite a strange one. It's called RPG Time The Legend of Right. Uh, it basically, it's all like, it looks like it's hand drawn. And as you saw, no. pro- maybe it's like a platformer, but as you saw progress in the levels, basically, you just see, you see a massive book and like the page turns as you go off screen to the right hand side. Um, also, I think right. maybe like the characters potentially like drawing platforms. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's it's so it's, it's a lot of hand drawn. There's also some paper craft stuff in there as well. You can see some like cardboard platforms. You know, we can see like the edge of the cardboard. You can, it, yeah, it, it's um it's a weird one. I mean, it's an RPG time, The Legend of Right. Uh, mm. It yeah, it, it looks quite unique in the way it's all you know all like pencil drawn and with paper craft and stuff. But again, mm. not much more information uh, than that. Um, then there's a big idea Xbox uh, games montage I mean I tried to write down some of these games but there were a thousand games but some ones I saw yeah. were After Party we know it's coming out it looks great uh, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator which I know has had a bit of a oh, cult yeah. following on PC uh, yeah, yeah. Good Life I think it's about a dog uh, Cross Code Creature in the Well Killer Queen Black which I know is like the arcade oh, yeah, game yeah, people yeah. rave about and it's coming out on Switch uh, I was just going to say uh, A Good Life that's the um, is it Sweary doing that one uh, I, I think don't, it I is. Don't know, it was it, it was it was kickstarted and then failed oh, and okay, then kickstarted right. again and and yeah so I'm I'm glad that it's actually so that, yeah I'm not going to run to the end but 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 um but basically there's like a there's there's absolutely loads in this sixty seconds so it's it's yeah uh, yeah and the, and then um yeah uh, I think uh after that Matt Booty the head of partnerships comes on talk about how Game Pass is killing it. Yeah. Uh, and they announced actually some big games coming to Game Pass today or on that day. So Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus, which obviously yeah. only came out a few months ago, that's yeah, on yeah. there. Hollow Knight, Borderlands, Handsome Collection, and we'll they're all coming to Game Pass today. Oh, can nice. we can we talk about Game Pass a bit at this point? Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. I mean, because the thing is, is one of the themes of this show, Sean, was Game yeah. Pass, and right. like the fact. I mean, the the big. I mean, they really sort of made out the big strength of this going forward is the fact that so much of the stuff they showed was like, yeah, it's going to be on Game Pass, like you know, okay. day one and all that kind of thing. And yeah. that, it did, it was good. I mean, a lot of that stuff was really good. I mean, they, they mm. really clearly are like expanding it and just adding more and more stuff. And the stuff, I mean, like they said, like Metro Exodus like, on there right now. I mean, that was mm. that was pretty cool. Yeah, there was a lot of really good stuff. I mean, yeah. they yeah, they really built, I mean, that for me from the whole show was like the biggest differentiator is is this is Game Pass. It's it's the future I think of this of uh, you know for this sort of stuff. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 for for tons of games like, obviously at the bottom I had like the name in the game, but it will say like out on Game Pass or out on pre-order now so yeah game pass has mentioned absolutely loads they mentioned at this point game pass for pc it launches an open beta today or the other day um then they announced game pass xbox game pass ultimate now i sure this was like announced anyway like last yeah we month. knew about this already i think but yeah. basically it's um xbox game pass ultimate is game pass xbox live gold uh and also for an extra cost you get xbox game pass for pc uh, it's okay. fifteen dollars a month. I think it's actually ten ninety nine in the UK. Uh, but they've got this amazing offer where you can sign yeah. up now for a month for one dollar. But actually, what it means it's actually so much better than that. So what the offer actually does is it it calculates it combines your existing subs for Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass. It adds mm-hmm. them together and then yeah. it basically the one pound upgrades the com- the com- the combined length for those subs and turns it into Xbox Live. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, basically. Okay. Um, so what my, I've done and tons of other people have done is basically uh, buy as much Xbox Live Gold as you can get, really. Maximum, uh, yeah. maximum up to maximum three years. So I've, I bought three yeah. years' worth. And yeah. I think that's, that's the biggest amount you can stack. Then I paid mm. $1. And now, basically, for three years, I have 
That's Game Pass Ultimate. The, the Ultimate one. Yeah, yeah. so, so okay. that's, I, I've, I've three years of gold. Thing. It's like, yeah. mine's, mine's like up until like 2021 now. And it's like, it's to- <laughs> totally worth doing it. Because, I yeah, mean, yeah. you look, I mean, even if there's only a couple of games on there that I'm going to play over the year, it's still worth it. Like, pay it still works yeah. out. Like, it just pays for itself. And it's like, yeah. also, I, I read today, Matt, that you can add, you can, if you add like another uh, year subscription later on, they add, it adds more months uh, to it. Oh, really? Yeah. So okay, what I'm thinking good. of doing is, you know, like with those bing points we've been doing, yeah. you could just add those and yeah, it will just keep going. Yeah, going. yeah. It's, yeah uh, I mean, no, it's, so it's a crazy I, deal. I am. I, um, I had uh, I was, under time. I had no Xbox Live Gold. That's run out a couple of months. But I had a uh, Game Pass for a couple of months. But yeah, I've, I bought three years ago. But that's 120 quid. But then, like, I, I think people said it's 120 quid uh, worth. Uh, that's what you pay. But you basically like 400 or 398 pounds worth of stuff for like 120 quid. I mean, yeah, I got basically I'm paid up to like June 2022 with Game Pass, uh, Xbox Live Gold, and I guess if I upgrade my PC, I've got Game Pass for PC. So it's a crazy deal. So um, did they go into the Game Pass for PC stuff? Because obviously that's they they oh, no, they, uh, they did a bit. No, they, yeah, they yeah. did because they they talked about how oh we've got these um like you know a curated collection that's coming like out on it, and they did list a couple right. of things. But to be okay. honest, I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, no, there was wasn't there like the age? It was Age of Empires two, wasn't there? Age of Empires like collection, I think. I might, might yeah, write right. it down. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, well, I think Age of Empires, Age of Age of Empire two, Definitive Edition, that that mm. might be coming to it. But also mention what they're like, um, uh, like people like Sega and other people they're working with. Okay. Yeah. Um, next thing, world premiere. Well, I, I need yeah. to get it right. World premiere. It said captured in real time, four K. And mm-hmm. um, you see loads of incredible locations around the world. And it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. What? It's back. Bollocks. Uh, it's back. <laughs> but basically, it looks, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, yeah. <laughs> they said, it, it basically, it, the, the trailer was essentially flying over different locations around the globe. And it looks amazing. Yeah. And, um, okay. and, and that was it, really. At one point, there was like, right. a bit with like two planes. And I was like, is it going to be like a co-op <laughs> thing? But I don't know. But... <laughs> Yeah, but it, it was like Let, two, let's like, fly over there together. Yeah, well, I, saw, I saw two planes. I was like, maybe so. I don't know. I, I haven't played the original, yeah. but I thought maybe it's a cult thing. Anyway, Flight Sim is back. So, wow. Were you, okay. Are you a Flight Sim fan? Sure. No. It was, well, it was well, a weird reveal, be. though. This one. This was a bit of a weird <laughs> reveal because it was like. It was built up to be something massive, and obviously, flight simulator. As they said, Mike, like flight simulator is the first game that Microsoft made. All that is what they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like they were like, you know, now we're bringing it back and everything. But also, the fact it's coming to Xbox as well is weird. You know, the, yeah, the, it's because on it that was because well. it's a proper hardcore simulator. It's like you yeah. needed like the entire fucking keyboard, or ideally a flight controller. Yeah. Um, so, but the crowd okay. went wild for this as well. So they? You know, I mean, <laughs> okay. they were going wild for everything though. It yeah. was, uh, yeah. yeah. It was, I mean, it was, it was getting, it was getting ridiculous, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, 4K now. Uh, after that, it was Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition remastered mm-hmm. in 4K. Looks okay. Uh, yeah. Wasteland 3 turn-based strategy oh, yeah. game. I mean, I think like, we knew about the first or second one because they were like when they kickstarted. Uh, the second one was kickstarted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, so a strategy game, kind of like Fallout style and humour. Mm. Um, uh, a- acquisition time. Um, yeah, because they 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 yeah they they started off with this like it's like you know yeah, we've got the wallet more, out again. We've been making some more acquisitions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then like so, Matt Booty came back. He's like the head of partnerships, whatever. And mm. he said, "Oh, you know, we 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 love like." people and you know and like creators from around the world and anyway he said um basically they bought double fine productions oh shit yeah okay uh and outcomes oh fuck what's his name um tim schaefer yeah yeah, yeah. outcome tim schaefer uh, and they said yeah like thank you ever so much <laughs> basically <laughs> it's a bit of a weird his, conversation his, his speech, no his speech was really funny because he was just like saying like you know yeah we're part of microsoft now and he was like Whatever you want us to make, we'll make it. And he was like, Halo, oh, yeah. Forza, whatever you want. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, we can yeah, do that. He said, know? like, Halo, Forza, Excel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so- I mean, it's a strange decision because they've, they've been, like, fiercely independent and, like, don't even, like, you know, Tim Schafer's well documented in terms of slagging off just working with publishers in general and how he doesn't like doing it. Yeah. Um, so I guess, you know, some pretty strong promises have been made with regards to creative freedom and what have you. Or, or hmm? 
we, he won't be around for much longer at the Got studio. That. Yeah, he's just pa- yeah, selling <laughs> it. But how did this all yeah. feel? I mean, like, obviously, Double Fine had like amazing Kickstarters, and then they went on to Fig. Mm. Like, mm. It, it, yeah. for me, like the the sort of narrative was actually they weren't doing too good, and they've obviously maybe they've exhausted crowdfunding. So this, you know, possibly they maybe yeah, it was, to save them. The Fig was, thing was so awkward because they like, they've obviously done it with the best of intentions because they were like you know they're doing so well on Kickstarter and then obviously you know so many people were saying yeah but people are technically investing in a product that you are then able to sell and make money on so they should be getting money from that like they should be getting some sort of payback um, so they created Fig to address that but it was just like yeah it was just as the Kickstarter bubble was bursting and everyone's just like oh great another crowdfunding platform fuck off like, yeah. it just never really because the difference with Fig was that that was actually like you get you got revenue back wasn't it yeah and yeah so like if you just put in. yeah so like if you funded a game to an amount that was like you know like 20 quid well done you get a copy of the game but yeah if you want to actually put like a few hundred or a thousand quid in then yeah you, you would technically be entitled to royalties so you know, I think they're, again, really well-intentioned, but it just never, I don't know, it didn't really seem the to take off. The other thing that I thought was weird about this is that, because, okay, Microsoft were, were publishing Psychonauts, weren't they? The original, that was the plan. Like, they yeah, were going to yeah. do that. And then the fact that they then pulled out, didn't that almost, like, cripple Double Fine as well? Hang on, are you not thinking of, no, are you thinking of Brutal Legends? Activision were going to publish it, and then they No, I'm sure they it. did this, because it was, because that was, it was going to be Microsoft publishing it, and then yeah. they ended up going with was it like Majesco or someone like that? I can't remember who did it in the end. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, no, that rings a bell. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I right. know this was a bit of a. I still thought this was weird, but it also yeah. looked like I'm thinking. I just you know. <laughs> so the um, the uh, yeah the Activision one just made me laugh because they, I remember it's just one of my favourite Tim Schafer quotes. Yeah, basically the game came out of, and I think it was like EA published it in the end, and then Activision sort of tried to sue for some reason, claiming they still owned bits of it, and yeah, Tim Schafer was approached for comment and he just said, like, you know, getting getting angry at Activision for trying to sue you is like getting angry at a monkey for throwing its shit at you. It's just how the beast <laughs> communicates. <laughs> um, so, yeah, after this, he introduced the Psychonauts 2 trailer. It looks good. I mean, I didn't play the first okay. one. I think mm-hmm. this is still multi-platform. I'm not sure. Yeah, as far as I'm aware. I don't know what yeah. it was actually confirmed, but yeah, Psychonauts 2, you know, it's coming. Cool. No, no, I think, I think it is because all of... All of these things that they've done recently, like all of these studios they bought, anything that they're working on at the moment is generally, you know, they're still going multi platform until yeah. it'll just be the stuff going forward, I guess, will be yeah, exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. Um, then world premiere. Um, yeah. It starts off with a, in a, basically, like, it, it, in the, it's a Star Wars text in like a land, land far, what was it, in a land far, far away or whatever it is? Yeah, yeah, you know the, the classic blue text. I was like, "Wow, hang on, Gal- I, galaxy far, far away." In a galaxy far away, of course. Yeah. Um, I was like, "Wow, <laughs> like a new, a, a brand new Star Wars game." Like maybe, maybe this is something else. Anyway, it was, uh, it is a new Star Wars game. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a new Lego game, Star Wars Lego: The Luke Skywalker Saga. All nine okay. films in one Lego game. Shit. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it looked really cool. All night. So what? So this is com- this isn't coming out for a while, I guess, because obviously no, it'd be out after. The- uh, yeah, comes out yeah, 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 but in okay. the trailer had like Luke, it had Leia, it had like Darth Maul, it had uh, mm-hmm. had um, Kylo Ren, it had Rey. Uh, Hang on, how it, can it be the Luke Skywalker saga if he's? I mean, he's not even born until the, the end of they, it. Wasn't it, wasn't it the Skywalker saga? <laughs> not oh, Luke Skywalker. Okay, okay, might, oh, yeah, okay, might that, that, yeah, maybe, that yeah. works. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, um, cool. all nine films in one game, uh, and, and they're only Lego Star Wars game. But are they like? Are they so the first six episodes? Are they just? Like remakes of the old Lego Star Wars games, or of the is it all new stuff? Uh, again, it wasn't really clear from the trailer. Uh, okay. it, it basically, the trailer had like a, a variety of different locations, all random like characters in those locations, and mm-hmm. uh, and some funny dialogue, and, and that was it really. Oh. Did, did you pick up much more on that, James? Uh, no, that was pretty much it. It was yeah, just what you said. Uh, our next one was uh, a new Dragon Ball Z RPG. It's like K- uh, Kakarot. Yeah, yeah, Kakarot. That's that's. Oh fuck! I hate. Why do I know this? At Hound, so is that that's, a new thing? Or? That, Kakarot is Goku's original Saiyan name. Oh, okay, fucking right. shoot me. I yeah. Think... <laughs> so brand new Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's an RPG. It yeah. looks fucking okay. insane. Uh, yeah, it's it all over the place. It, it looked bonkers. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Uh, another world premiere. It's this is. Um, it's an indie game called 12 Minutes. It looks really, really interesting. It, the trailer mm-hmm. itself, it was like top down. Uh, it was um, 
in, in in someone's flat there's like a man and woman at a dinner table and it's, it's, it's like a studio apartment and basically I think they might be arguing or something um, and then basically the boyfriend seems to know what's going to happen in the next few seconds he's like your dad's going to knock on the door and there's like a bang on the door and he's like yeah, you, you, you've got to help you've got to save me and then basically mm-hmm. it, 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 it implies that basically there's lots of little loops and they will last 12 minutes and maybe in each right. 12 minutes you've got to like try and do something that Maybe you get an extra clue, or maybe you've got to stop someone potentially getting mm-hmm. hurt, or stop yourself getting hurt because you've only got twelve minutes to do it. But based on mm-hmm. what you learned from the previous loop, maybe you can help yourself or escape. I don't know. Uh, it looks really, really interesting. Um, cool. Yeah, it, it looks fantastic. Actually, what, what do you think, James? Yeah. I, also, this. I mean, this was one of the standouts of the show. Like for me, okay. like it was. Uh, yeah, it did look very interesting. It's yes, yeah, like repeating, trying, you know, trying to redo things so that it works for you. It's uh, yeah, it looked great. Yeah, I, I can't remember who I, I I didn't I didn't write down who it's actually from, but uh, anyway, it looks fantastic. Um, Way to the Woods is the next indie game. It's a new game by Anthony Tan. Um, I can't oh, this is the deer one, wasn't it? Yeah, this yeah. Is the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it's basically you see like two deer navigating like an environment. It looks all like a empty mm-hmm. like city. Uh, it's like re- really gorgeous, bright graphics. Again, like a little bit like rhyme, sort of washed out, but also mm-hmm. sort of like pastel in terms of like the colors of, mm-hmm. and style of graphics. Uh, again, yeah, there's not much more to to know, but uh, it, yeah. it, I guess there's, uh, basically in this environment, there's like two deer, and one was maybe like opening or getting through like some barriers at a subway station, or another one's trying to lift something up to let the other one through. It's like a, a, it's like a subway a, station, like an abandoned one, or just one with. <laughs> What's that saying? <laughs> like, like, uh, well, like an abandoned subway station. Yeah, or yeah. Just one yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It looks like around. a bigger, ba- bigger abandoned city, yeah. <laughs> Two deer just kicking off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, have you got your Oyster card? Like, uh, <laughs> it was yeah, a lot it, of headbutting. They were like, you know, headbutting, like, you know, vending machines and stuff like that. And, right. right. Yeah. He- headbutting cans of Coke, headbutting a lot. But yeah, it, it looks nice. I mean, Anthony Tan, does that, ring, does that name ring a bell at all, Sean? It doesn't, no. Because it was like front and centre, the new game by Anthony Tan. So, I mean, I bet people listen to us so like, oh, obviously he did that other game. Um, but, yeah, uh, yeah, Anthony Town. No, it, no, it looks sure. nice. Um, cool. Next is uh, Gears Five. Um, it's, there's a Billie Eilish soundtrack, <laughs> uh, and it's basically you see like the female uh, protagonist's heads in, in this like trailer. You just literally see the head with like black behind them, and basically the face is all like changing. It's like angry. It's sad. It's freaked out. It's like moving around a bit. Um, and but you basically see that for like two minutes. It's freaking out. It's screaming with this. Billy Irish soundtrack in the in the background playing, um, and it's out so ten ten. This got this got quite tedious after about a minute, and <laughs> it was like, what 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 is this for? Yeah, it was uh, that, yeah, it, it wasn't great. That's out so ten ten. But this actually started what felt like quite a long gear section. Needlessly, well, it was quite it was quite a long gear section with no actual gears in it, in the sense that they didn't <laughs> show any of the game at all. They just showed all this like stuff like you know like CG and stuff, and it was. For what? Yeah. You know, so it's, like, it's like, we already know about this. It's, yeah. you know. The game is out September 10th. Uh, you can play four days early if you're a Game Pass Ultimate customer. So already I'm like, hmm. So not just like you can play some stuff on Game Pass. Like you can play... Mm. I, I, I mean, I have, so they said play four days early if you're a Game Pass Ultimate customer or by buying the Collector's Edition. With that first one, do you think it's implying if you're Game Pass Ultimate, you get like a trial or if you buy the... If you, or, or what? Like... Or can you? No, you can I mean, I, I thought they're not giving. I thought they were saying it's, if it's you're part, of course. So yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, but I thought they were saying if you're on Game Pass Ultimate, you'll get like the best the... edition of it, basically. Because oh, okay, I mean, obviously right. they're gonna they're gonna release like different versions, and it was like yeah, you'll get the like the best one, like the okay, collector's one. Whereas if you're on standard yeah. Game Pass, you just get the standard version of the game. Yeah, maybe. basically, oh, yeah. that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then they talk about a bunch of multiplayer modes. Uh, there's a multiplayer beta in July 17th. Then there's this like, really elongated CGI trailer for the new multiplayer mode. <laughs> uh, called Escape. It went on for ages. Actually, at this point, maybe maybe slightly before, they um, then like went up beneath the stage uh, of Xbox, oh, on yeah. the Xbox stage, <laughs> and it was like, and then it showed like uh, like smoke coming out of these like tubes and like TVs, and it was a bit like spooky and scary. And all it did was they went on the stage, and it looked like I guess an environment from the game. And yeah. then it just went zoomed into the background where there's a TV showing the multiplayer trailer. So it's totally pointless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was yeah, it was it was it was insane because like you're expecting some like massive like huge reveal, and it's like no, it's just we got this underneath. Yeah, all here. that production then, cost for like does it, they could have said like here's a trailer. They they they, they didn't have to go underneath the stage, and then no, after no, that, yeah, you're forgetting the wrestlers, Matt. Yeah, well, I get after after that <laughs> after they showed this escape mode, then they went back on the stage, and it might be like a very small interview with like one of the people, and they had three wrestlers 
about to play multiplayer and right. then that was it a cut you didn't actually see them play the game they're just like these guys Xavier Woods and Tom Ampu are going to yeah. play the game and so it's like just think about it right they had these wrestlers underneath the stage like waiting to yeah. be revealed it was just very odd <laughs> but I don't know what the point of that was it was just yeah, very strange I mean I'm struggling to visualise the whole thing to be honest it sounds insane yeah it was because well, also when, when they did this whole thing with the stage moving around and all that it looked like it was probably going to be another game like something yeah. else you know like it like it, it looked like an alien game or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it really <laughs> did. Yeah, it was all dark and yeah, it looked scary down there. But then it was like, no, there's a bunch of wrestlers here. They can play it later. Yeah, essentially, yeah, do all that so- to show us the trailer they could have done without the stage and pointed out three three wrestlers are there, but didn't actually show us any gameplay. Uh, and that's Amazing. definitely a theme. There's fuck loads of CGI trailers and very little, yeah. very, very little gameplay. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so Escape. Um, but at the start, this is something else that you'll see as a bit of a theme. You can pre-order and play in week. If you pre-order or play in week one, you get a Terminator Dark Fate pack yeah. in Gears. <laughs> what? Yes, <laughs> this this what? was all so weird because they did this with like a trailer of, yeah. that was like you know like the like the you know, the opening of Terminator where it's got you know the skulls on the ground and everything yeah, and then yeah, like yeah. the you know the, the foot comes and smashes it yeah. down and they had the music they had the whole thing going and it was like <laughs> Terminator stuff in Gears and they were like. <laughs> Why? It's, it's just, but then this became a theme, as we'll yeah. see through some of the other conferences as well. Yeah, it's like okay. somebody, whoever it is marketing Terminator Dark Fate, has, has done quite a lot of deals. Spent yeah, money, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's like, and not again, surely. Yeah, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. you pre-order or play in the first week and you get a Dark Fate pack. Great. Um, that's our thing. Uh, they announced a new Elite Pad. Um, it's got Bluetooth finally. You can recharge it. It's got mm. a charging dock. It looks fantastic. Uh, it's like 170 quid. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. So I, I know those people like, <laughs> love, love the previous Elite Pad. Uh, they've, like, they've slightly redesigned it. got like way more grip everywhere and you can change uh, you know, a few things here and there. But yeah, I guess if you love the first one, this one improves apparently on every aspect of the first one. Um, Dying Light 2. Um, oh, yeah. So it's that sort of like zombie parkour game. Mm. Nothing we'd say there. Um, yeah. This next one is mad. World Premiere... It's uh, Forza Horizon 4. And it was like, well, we know, we know Forza Horizon 4. It's been out for months. Um, it's Forza Horizon 4. And then in the background, you hear, everything is awesome. No. Do you know what that's from? Yeah, it's from the Lego movie. It's, it's yeah. Lego DLC. It comes out this <laughs> week. Um, I don't know what Sean, it's called. They, they had a car on stage, Sean, that was made out oh. of Lego. Yeah, <laughs> they had like, I mean, it might be the McLaren F1 I or mean, something. I mean, it sounds absurd, but obviously, Forza 3, we had the Hot Wheels stuff, and that was great as well. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. this trailer looked fucking amazing. Um, <laughs> basically, like in a, in a trailer, like you start off with like re- really realistic cars, and they're bombing, yeah. down, they're bombing down the road, they stop at a T junction, and then the cars going past them, it's basically Lego versions of all the same sports cars, and like a Lego guy like looks through the window and does a little <laughs> nod or wink and stuff. And I mean, that's like that's perfect because I've been playing a bit of Forza Horizon 4 this week, and they keep like pushing the Fortune Island DLC. And it just right. looks miserable. Um, so this this sounds perfect. Oh, this looks so so good. Yeah. So um, yeah. I believe there's, there's like challenges and there's maybe like a new area of the map, maybe a new game mode. But yeah, uh, it, it, it looks fantastic. They had like videos <laughs> of like minis doing you know jump jumps and all sorts of crazy stuff. And like there's a <laughs> maybe a game mode or maybe just obstacles in the in the in the road where you smash those with Lego blocks. Um, it looks fucking brilliant. Yeah, it's out this week, so yeah, it may, it may already actually be out by the time we talk, but it looks awesome. so, so good. I, it did have a name, but I, I can't think of what it is. Mm. Uh, Gears Pop. Oh, yeah, God, this back. is still a thing, is it? Yeah, it's Gears still Pop. there, yeah. Uh, they had a bit of a CGI trailer, and we saw some mobile gameplay, and who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't know where it's coming yeah, out. It's just like, what it, type it was, of game even is it again? I can't remember. It looks like a sort of... Um, Oh for fuck's sake! Like it's 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 not Catan, <laughs> it's it's like that. Um, oh, it's anyway. a mobile strategy. It's game. It's a mobile strategy game. We have like two yeah. two two opposing forces. You like swapping yeah. different like. It's like a, a massive game come out like a few years ago. I was actually playing it quite a lot, and anyway, I can't remember. <laughs> not enough to remember the name. Oh no, no, because okay. it's, it's called ones like regenerating names. Anyway, it looks okay. like one of them. Uh, Gears Pop. Right. I don't know why I didn't do it after Gears Five, but that, that's Gear Pop. Um, yeah. State of De- State of Decay Two's got some DLC. Uh, okay. It comes in two separate stories: a guy and a woman. It, you can play mm-hmm. it today on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Um, World Premiere. Yeah. Sega logo comes up yeah. on the screen. 
Online mm. action, crossplay. It's PSO2, Sean. Oh, fuck off. PSO2 is coming. You kidding? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it, yeah. Um, on, what's it on? What 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 platforms? Well, it's on no, Xbox, yeah, obviously. I, I, well, probably yeah, Xbox sorry, and yeah. PC. Um, uh, uh, but, okay. Yeah. Oh no, I'll I'll take it. All right, fine. PSO Good. two about, is about fucking time. Well, yeah. there is a caveat to this, though, Sean. Okay, go on. So it is coming to the West, yeah, yeah. but only to America. Um, what? it's not it's not coming to Europe yet. You kidding? I mean, that that would be crazy. easy enough to get around, surely. Well, yeah, probably. I, guess. Yeah, I mean, it was easy enough to play the Japanese one. It just meant having to apply language patches and stuff. But obviously, you remove that the language stuff, then that should be that should be all right. To yeah, get around, it, shouldn't it? it? They, they say crossplay, so I don't know if that if if that's maybe like crossplay between the Xbox and PC, or if it's a come out on other Presumably, platforms. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's it. It's a PSO two. I couldn't believe it. Jesus, that is weird that i mean they've waited all this time supposedly they were like capital r reasons it was never going to come to the west but uh, oh, really who knows yeah yeah yeah. um but that yeah that that's all i've ever been able to find out um <laughs> so yeah cool yeah. fat star Good. 2 is coming uh next i had this another world premiere it is uh it's a game called crossfire x um, they had this like massive like lead up to this saying like it's we're like I think maybe like this is um they said like a massive massive undertaking or we're so happy to have this game on our system. Anyway, it's some massive massive game from China. It's like maybe China's like biggest FPS. It's yeah, six hundred fifty million like, players. Yeah, where it turns out like this is the most popular game in the world because there's so many people playing it. But we've yeah, six hundred fifty million people <laughs> playing this game. It looks like a yeah. I, I, like they it, again another CGI trailer of those like army men or SWAT people, you know, shooting each other. Um, I, I went on YouTube to find out some gunplay, some gameplay like trailers, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, it looks like a it's like a like a it's a like a sort of old Rainbow Six style shoot 'em up. I guess a multiplayer okay. and stuff. Um, but they were really psyched. But then they didn't show any gameplay in the trailer, which I thought was a bit yeah. of a waste really because like, okay cool there's a massive game what, and it's already been out in China for years why not show us what the actual game is rather than some big showy CGI trailer that doesn't really show us or yeah. tell us anything about the game but um, yeah, it's not seem, like it's still th- in development is it it's yeah <laughs> exactly but uh, uh, yeah. they seem pretty psyched about it um, I think the crowd yeah. was psyched as well I don't think they knew what it was but they were definitely psyched oh, yeah everyone's whooping and hollering um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's first to console they said on Xbox in 2020 so right. I assume maybe like a uh, I guess. Well, I guess it's coming out on PC, but in, 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 you know, soon. But it's actually the first. It's not coming to PS4 until after Xbox, I, I would presume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh, another world premiere: uh, Tales of a Is that how right. you pronounce it, James? Was it a rise? I don't Arise. know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tales of Rise. Yeah. Tales of Reese. It's a JRPG. Comes out twenty twenty. Yeah. You'll, you'll see a theme here because it's like they were starting to lean into like this is what we've got from Japan, sort of stuff. You know. Yeah. It's like right. We've got. Okay. We've got yeah. stuff coming. Um. Although I mean, like the order of this like thing was a bit weird because anyway, like next Borderlands Three <laughs> just just pops in a Borderlands Three trailer. It looks fine. That. We've seen so much of Borderlands Three, um, like uh, last. Sadly, time. yeah. Sadly, no Randy Pitchford on stage. That, oh that no, what a shame. No, yeah. that wouldn't be good. Actually, but no, yeah. So Borderlands Three trailer <laughs> is how obviously this year or never it looked looked fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt Booty comes back on stage at that point. Uh, yeah. Talking about you know how like we've like, had loads of acquisitions like bought loads bought studios in last year, looking to sort of uh, like add to their, their their global studios around the world you know about ideas and this sort of stuff. Anyway, he said uh, honor to announce uh, Xbox Studios or joining Xbox Studios is from software. The people go mad at this point. <laughs> at, they, yeah, they, this they, was insane. Yeah, I mean like right. so what, see what. What was what? weird about this, right, yeah. is because it was we were in a bit of a lull at this point because we'd yeah. had all the Gears stuff, we'd yeah, had the all Gears this... Way, way, way too long, which I, it was an amazing start, but it sort of ruined the flow, that Gears stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but then this was like, bang, and yeah. yeah it's all so for the point. sake of the listeners, we were talking about this on WhatsApp the other week because rumours had been circulating. So, but whether that means it's just turned out we were right, or you figured that was a perfect thing to bullshit. Yeah, the, the funny, yeah. So, so we we had them chats on WhatsApp, and like when when we heard yeah. like when we heard it, we assumed it's like oh, especially after we heard about the um the double fine acquisition, we're like well, it's probably that. But yeah, anyway, from mm. software, people get mental. Um, Booty says that you know we've like they've created like influential games, blah blah blah. And mm. is it like hit a ta- well, basically it Miyazaki comes out on stage. Uh, is it right. H- hide attacker whatever? Uh, he comes out. So, <laughs> hide attacker, yeah. Hide attacker. Anyway, he comes yeah. out. More screams. 
Um, basically, they they have a bit of a chat saying, you know, like really happy to be part of the Xbox Game Studios thing. It's like a bit of a embarrassing translator moment because it takes a bit too long and <laughs> looks a bit awkward on stage. It's a classic thing. Mabuti says like we're basically they're announcing every Dark Souls game is on Game Pass from today. Uh, again, everyone goes absolutely mad. Um, yeah. Every, wait, 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 wait. Every Dark Souls game is on Game Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, yeah. I mean, I pretty much just obviously one, two, and three, but uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So every, everything, everything on Game Pass. Um, but said that's not all. Um, and basically, they're announcing a new game. Uh, they rolled a trailer, and um, I think this might have leaked actually, but it's a uh, Elden Ring, which is okay. the George R. R. Martin oh, did, did, game. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the George R. R. Martin. Yeah. yeah okay. um, did this leak before you left the internet? Uh, no, there was that stuff a couple of weeks back that like it was definitely real, and there was some very vague details on it. Cause, yeah, we talked about it on the show, didn't we? Oh yeah, of course. Um, yeah, no, yeah. But yeah, it, no. Beyond that, that I was, think at one point it was. Called, oh, I think we believe it's going to be called like Great Rune or something like that. Anyway, oh that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's it's called Elden name, Ring. Um, okay. And a CGI trailer. It doesn't say an awful lot. Basically, it looks sort of like Lord of the Rings style. Uh, with like big monsters, lots of flames. Uh, it looked like an mm. awesome trailer, but it's very hard to know exactly what 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 is actually happening in the game. Of course, but yeah, it's yeah. it's it's Miyazaki, it's George R. R. Martin, uh, mm. and it's yeah, come out on Xbox. Uh, I mean, obviously that's exciting, but once again, like many other trailers here, they um, it just the slower. Didn't really you see, this much. is the thing that was I feel was the most disappointing in general. Like with with Microsoft showing those, there was so little gameplay stuff. It was just all. CG yeah. trailers yeah. mostly, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was kind well, of a shame. Well, we'll to that towards the end, but yeah, it's just yeah. another yet another CGI trailer, um, and and then basically uh, just like Keanu coming out, the doors open, the lights come on, the smoke. Everyone's screaming at this point, I think, because they've always seen Keanu Reeves. George R. R. Martin comes down stage now. <laughs> Like there's, it would have been amazing if it had been Keanu Reeves again. Because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> people are screaming, but I mean, obviously you can't see people's faces. But I bet people are yeah. screaming because someone's coming out of the smoke and the light. They didn't. I mean, a, maybe a they, mad old trolls just yeah, rolled out to the stage. Like, I bet it could have been like, Major Nelson. You know? <laughs> I bet everyone's like, oh, it's the guy who wrote Lord of the uh, not Lord uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> And uh, anyway, but people go mad. He comes yeah. on stage and said, "Oh, like Microsoft have got in touch, blah blah blah." Is you know, I'm, happy, yeah. I'm working on this. Uh, it's been amazing work with uh, Miyazaki, and and that's it, really. Um, All right. What was, yeah, the, so what was really he dressed like? Because trying... I can't imagine him. Like every interview I've seen, he's just wearing like a shitty old checkered shirt and a flat cap. Basically, looks like well, me. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, uh, he was only wearing a flat cap. I think it's all like um, he had this like. Um, Baby, it, it, it was a waistcoat, but it's it all about right. orange and green. Uh, t- okay. A tweed, I guess, tweed waistcoat with like, okay. a weird, like flat cap thing on. Um, oh, that makes sense. He looked a bit of a state, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but, but there was like, smoke, wasn't there, everywhere, which yeah, is like. It's just, <laughs> yeah. It's, and, and like with all the screaming, and then it's like this guy comes on with a flat cap and a, wet, and a tweed waistcoat. It was just like, a, bit of a <laughs> bit of a weird thing. But yeah, uh, that, that, that's that. Yeah, so uh, um, obviously we've heard about that before. So. It sort of took, yeah, it took it the shame. surprise away from it a bit, but um, yeah, and it's a shame if the trailer doesn't give much away either. But yeah, yeah. Okay. no, yeah, but, but still, I mean, it was still it was brilliant to like take things up a notch again because it yeah. was yeah things have been starting to go like sort of get a bit flat. So that was, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I, that was they cool. definitely did the right thing by saying like double fine first and then these guys after because it was like we've we bought from software next to like we've done another one it's double fine like yeah. oh cool yeah <laughs> but yeah like yes. I, I mean yeah. after the the. Uh, well, I thought it was a good start, even with the weird sort of games they announced. But then, um, mm-hmm. you know, with like Outer Outer Worlds and stuff, and then mm-hmm. there's that massive sag in the middle with with Gears. This was like, oh my god! Mm-hmm. Um, especially based on the two people come on stage, like Keanu and now this. It's like two two massive, massive, massive moments. Yeah. Uh, Phil comes back out on stage. He thanks Miyazaki and and and, and George R. R. Martin. Then it's X Cloud time. Oh boy! Now, um, like. Yeah. Obviously, they've talked about xCloud before, and that starts, like, we're going to talk about xCloud. So I was like, okay, we're going to get so much detail here. I cannot wait. Um, <laughs> basically, he talked about two aspects of xCloud. There's Project xCloud and then console streaming. And they right. focus really on console streaming. And oh, basically, okay. they said that turns your Xbox One into an xCloud server. And from this October, <laughs> basically, you can you can stream off your own console. So basically, it's remote play. Yeah, it's remote say, play. Yeah, it's not, yeah. yeah but okay. uh, here. Great. So yeah, I mean, like, and I mean, uh, it's not something I was uh, and, and, massively and that was fussed it about on that. XCloud. That was okay. it. Yeah, right. that that was also the thing that was. I mean, I'm, I know I'm sounding like massively negative about this conference, but <laughs> it's not it, like it you was. <laughs> well, no, no, but it, in general, it was really good. Like, I was, okay. I did enjoy it. I, yeah, it, it was it, a very, very enjoyable experience. Yeah. yeah, but 
the the points which I thought were a bit I mean there was the over too much CGI that kind of stuff but then also they didn't give hardly any detail on any of this stuff like the, mm-hmm. what's coming next really it was just like okay we've got Project X Cloud what's that we're not going to tell you and then just this and yeah then we got onto the console stuff do you want to yeah. go through that but, but it's just okay. like the way they were teasing it it's like and, and but really they just said it's like a 60 second thing like oh yeah X Cloud yeah. but also console streaming it's like and that was it. I See, thought, they'd, I thought they'd, especially after Google Stadia. I after thought Stadia, yeah. I thought they're going to say maybe, are they gonna really go maybe for like it? price, yeah. maybe like really go into what it is and why that's different or better than Stadia. But actually, they yeah. totally backed away. I was really surprised with that, really. Mm. But yeah, strange. October. I, I think that says. I think that says. I think they said when that when that's when they starting the project. The that's the trials. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The trials so, are starting at that time. Yeah. yeah. Something happened in October. Uh, remote play basically, and then mm. Phil's out talking about the future of gaming, the future of his console. Um, and basically, they do another one of those like videos where it's loads of um, marketing or people, it, high up execs from Microsoft talking about what they think the future of gaming <laughs> basically is. Basically, just saying, basically just saying like this is going to be a lot more powerful than the last one. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically no that's shit. What it's, yeah. <laughs> but, but maybe it's just because like, like a few few weeks ago we did the 2013 Xbox One announcement. Uh, or maybe I'm just remembering last year's conference, but this felt like, oh, they're doing this again. It's like people talk about marketing golf, and it's like, it's going to change mm. the world, and like power is yeah. the future. <laughs> and anyway, there's loads of people talking heads talking about the future and console and stuff. But basically, they said it's going to have a custom process from AMD, four times the power of the Xbox One X, 120 frames. Sean, how's that look? So, so wow. to 60 frames a second. How about 120? I was going to say, look forward to not being able to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, 120 frames, <laughs> next gen ray tracing, SSD. Okay. Um, yeah, they they did like with with uh, Sony. They they focused a lot on the SSD as yeah, well, like and the whole like load time stuff and all that kind of yeah. thing. I mean, it really looks like there's probably going to be pretty much nothing between these consoles. I think <laughs> for the generation, they're going to be exactly the same sort of thing. It's but uh, then yeah. if yeah, unless Sony pull out something spectacular. Yeah, I'd, I'd be very tempted to go Microsoft next generation, or you know, mm-hmm. Microsoft first, well, yeah, and see what especially happens, the, but... yeah, given the things they've announced and stuff. But uh, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. anyway, well, so anyway, yeah, yeah, we yeah, talked so, about this, but yeah, so know. basically at this point, like, the video is still maybe it's like a video going in the background, or maybe the trailer's still going on. Yeah, all that stuff was mentioned in the video, and then they're showing like shapes. I was like, oh my god, they're showing shapes of the console. We're gonna see the console today, but no, <laughs> it was just basically it zoomed out and it was just saying, saying the word Project Scarlet. So I was like, you know, <laughs> great. I, and basically, I think that's exactly how they do with Xbox One X. Or no, I think at that point it's called Project Scorpio. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. they also said it's coming out holiday 2020. So we know the release date. Oh, right, okay. Next but we, we kind of knew that already, didn't we? But yeah, like, we it's hardly it a surprise. Next, There's yeah. always going to be like it's fall a... or holiday and stuff. But yeah, holiday 2020 ended with a really, really bouncing line of one of the uh, high senior people said, it eats monsters for breakfast. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that got a lot of whooping. Wow, so, yeah, you know, it's horrendous. It anyway, yeah. um, then they, I, uh, then and then that stopped, and then they talked about Halo, and basically right, said okay. Halo is going to be a launch title uh, for Project Scarlet, and Shit. here's a trailer. So it's, what, so but, it's just but, not, hang on, wait a minute. Well, okay. It's no, no, but it's still coming to Xbox One as well. Oh it's, right, okay. It's, it's not okay. just. They didn't say that, but but obviously you would. But it is. They yeah. didn't say it, did they, James? They didn't say it then, but no. it definitely yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it'll be coming to Xbox One, of course. Anyway, just be a shit version. Um, it's basically like a. It looked like an amazing CGI trailer uh, of mm-hmm. basically this. There's like a, a guy who uh, it's just like a random looking guy with a beard in a, in a spaceship, and um, mm. it's like the spaceship. Like I think the same might be happening. Same bad happening. Maybe it's like loads of red lights and smoke and put. I, I may not remember. It's totally wrong. Anyway, well, you can imagine there was definitely a situation. There. Yeah, there's a situation yeah, there's... in a spaceship. Basically, you know, he he like he wipes like the front glass window of his space of his ship, and there's Master Chief floating in space just in front of the ship. Uh, it, he then like brings Master Chief into in into a ship, and basically like you see mm-hmm. like the really detailed, incredible suit next to this guy, mm-hmm. and then um, this guy like turns turns him on, switches the suit on, uh, and then you sort of suddenly see it from Master Chief's point of view, and mm-hmm. it said on his like uh, on his heads up display in his like on his screen, his helmet saying like AI not detected, so no no Cortana. Oh no, um, which was quite sad. And then the guys like, oh, I've done this thing to like, you know, to, to you know to to get you know to to wake you up. At this point, he hadn't said anything, and I was like, is that even Master Chief in the suit? I thought they were going. Do you know? Did you think that too? I was, James? Well, I th- I was expecting he was going to suddenly go rogue and like, yeah, smash yeah, the guys I, I in. Yeah, he was going to wake up and then, like start ki- yeah. you know killing the man or whatever. But anyway, he like he he like stepped forward after you know, and after the guy was like busy doing other things. Chief Chief stepped forward, and he's like reporting for duty or whatever he said. 
Um, mm. And the guy was like, oh, haven't you seen? And he looked out the window and basically the halo was floating in front of the spaceship. It was destroyed. Um, and then they said, bang, Halo Infinite. And then that was the end of the Microsoft show. Yeah, right. It, it was it was fucking cool to hear to hear the Halo music and see yeah. Master Chief. Obviously, it, I, I, it'll look stunning. And but once again, no gameplay. And that was absolutely the theme, not just of Microsoft's but <laughs> the others. But it was I, I thought actually this was an excellent, excellent show. But yeah, it, there it was really lots was. of problems I mean, with it still. It was it was a very good show. Like I mean, all the like exclusive stuff as well. Like especially like the studios and everything was was good. But it was just the yeah you know, the overuse of CGI. And it almost felt like. It was more of a sort of like quantity over quality thing generally. Like mm-hmm. they had a lot of stuff there. Like I mean, I think it probably would have been better if they did like zeroed in on it on things instead and like just focused on a couple of things. Not not to the extent that Sony do, but like not so many sort of because I mean we've I mean it's take how long has it taken us to go through this? It's like it's insane. There's just so much content <laughs> that it's like yeah you, know, you don't get a lot of like quality time with each one it's just uh, yeah, yeah. You know, the thing yeah. Is, it was now CGI 45 trailer. in the end so it's a long old conference and um Jesus. But i i thought is and i still think it's an excellent, excellent show uh, in the morning i also woke up with slightly different views and actually like i think there's actually some bad points but i still thought it was excellent i basically thought it was way too much cg no gameplay um and, and I, fundamentally i said have they really done enough to make sony not regret being there and I'm mm, not sure. Probably like acquisitions are exciting. Yes, and yeah, the studio know, acquisitions. Halo maybe. looks amazing. Halo will be amazing. That's Halo, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know, put and X Cloud they didn't show much, but that obviously has huge potential. Project Scarlet obviously huge potential, but I don't know. I left it thinking like they. I don't know what they, they haven't really shown anything now that Sony's gonna be like fuck. Why weren't we there? I, I just don't think they did yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. next an excellent show and maybe one of the best ever. Had some incredible moments, um, but I don't know. I don't. It didn't blow me. It didn't. I don't think it blew people away or did enough in the way that they had a huge opportunity to do so. Personally, yeah. yeah. I mean, I suppose the 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 question for me is: It should I sit down and watch this in its entirety, or should I just? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. yeah you, you definitely should definitely should, yeah. watch it. I, like, okay. I thought it was an excellent show. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, if only for like the Keanu stuff and everything. I mean, yeah. that was amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. It, and, it, uh, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. It, like. It, it it wasn't like if I think back to um, Sony's like 2016 conference where they show off like God of War and Spider Man mm. and maybe they had like a trailer for Last of Us. I was like, oh my god, like you know, huge things. Yeah. But here, I mean, I don't know. They had just lots of this... lots of good stuff, but not n- nothing. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. And obviously, we're, we're mean, waiting this, for next um... gen, so next year will be stunning. Yeah. I I would hope, but yeah, I thought yeah, they'd do yeah, more yeah. this year. Yeah. And this is still where I think, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to write Sony off, you see, with this, because they've still got all of these games and, like, all of these, like, franchises and stuff that, mm-hmm. I mean, the Game Pass stuff is fantastic. It's brilliant. Like, the whole idea is, is really good. But there's still, I still feel that Sony have got a lot of, like, exclusive stuff that make it worth, like, looking at their, you know, looking at their machine, if you sort of mean. I mean, that's, that's what, how they've, like, won in inverted commas this generation is through they've just had so much really, really good content. Mm-hmm. And, just relying on third parties, I think, is not enough. But that's also why, like all the studios they've got, like Microsoft now, is you know they are setting themselves up for the next gen really nicely. It's um it's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, you know, and I guess in a way, like, yeah, yeah. I, I never expected like all the acquisitions to be shown in games because they've only acquired them in the last like few months and years, like or a year. Yeah, maybe. yeah, like, yeah. I never expected all totally. the acquisitions to say here's a new trailer or gameplay. Obviously, because we're we're so early on, but. Yeah. And but I don't know. I like I just. But you're totally right, like James. Like Sony, they've done this deal with Microsoft, so they have Azure service to power their cloud thing. And all I've got to say is, you know, here's new God of War, here's new Spider Man, Last of Us Two is coming, Ghost of Tsushima, and and those are the stuff we know about, you know. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I mean, all, all Sony have got to do is make is get PlayStation Now to work like properly, <laughs> and you know, like, do that, and then also just add like start adding like. First party games onto it as well, like yeah. more you know recent but, but, ones. But, but, but that's an easy thing to do, and like, I think they probably will do. I mean, obviously, I mean maybe it's just like the perception we have on in our Twitter sphere or whatever. But it feels like oh, everyone's loving Game Pass, and it's really a good proposition. Um, yeah. But actually, like Sony may be thinking like, oh, okay, well we'll do it, and they'll just turn it on and and they'll fix. But also, PS4, I mean, I don't know. At, at the moment, like Sony don't need to do any of this stuff. No, no, absolutely they really not, don't. No. They're so far ahead that there's no, there's absolutely no reason why they would start giving away any of this stuff. Because I mean, if you look at like the charts, you know, they're all of the, you know, even stuff like Days Gone, like sells really well. Mm. So why would you bring that into something like Game Pass when you're already making a huge amount of cash, you know, just from people buying it? It, I mean, Game Pass exists because Microsoft were really behind. Oh, definitely, and it's yeah. a really good way yeah, to get that. 
yeah, to get people like back in again. But you know, I mean, I don't know. I think long term, I think there's going to be changes with that. You know, it's you know, it's not going to be like cheap forever and all that kind of thing. Once they start to consolidate again, it will, you know, things will change. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, especially with just one pound deal. Like, I'm not the only one to have bought those alive, and you've got like three years of Game Pass and stuff. But like, I've seen other people saying someone's someone's losing money, and it's definitely not us. Yeah, well, I've seen those <laughs> people saying, well, hang on, I've got three years of Game Pass, like, I'll probably get an Xbox mm. next, because just like, you know, when people were building mm. up their PlayStation Plus libraries, and like, well, hang on, yeah. I, I mean, I bought a Vita, basically, because I had, a, I had like, hundreds of, well, like, loads and loads and loads of Vita games, thanks to PS Plus, mm. so yeah. you're like, well, if I buy it, I've got loads of games to play, like, I think Game yeah. Pass is doing the same, well, if I buy, I've got three, maybe I've got a PC, or maybe I've got an Xbox, and but it's okay, and but Game Pass is there, but if you're like, well, I've got, like, two years or three years of Game Pass and mm. stuff, you might think, well, maybe I'll get an Xbox. Like, there's hundreds of good games, hundreds of good games on that. Met- the games like Metro Exodus coming now, uh, all the stuff they announced with like Flight Sim and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I maybe, it, maybe it's turned the tide. Which is but true, but I mean, as I said, it's still, I mean, aside from the From stuff, it's just, you know, I can't play like Yakuza like on an Xbox. Yeah. You know, there's like, there's loads of games like that that you can't, yeah, like, that's so the, it's Yakuza. The oh, that's a Sega yeah. thing. So have Sony got an exclusivity yeah. for that, or what? I don't think so. But they still, yeah, only ever since to come out on like on PlayStation. I think because I mean they they come out in Japan first, obviously, and yeah. then get hopefully localized. And Judgment you know, obviously is PS4 as well, isn't it? So. Yeah. yeah, and it's because I mean it's largely because those games are made primarily for like Japanese audience, and they are just not interested in Xbox. I mean, with the changes from this conference, maybe that will change a bit. Hopefully, but you know we'll see. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's crazy. And, and there's been like I think it's like a GamesIndustry.biz article today saying they're interested in like you know acquiring more Japanese studios and stuff. So who knows? Mm-hmm. I mean, they know like Xbox is basically dead over there. Um, and I know that like, PlayStation like basically runs Europe. I think like PlayStation is always like a massive seller in the UK and Europe. So I know Xbox are doing really well in the US generally. But I don't know yeah. like they've yeah. got an amazing value proposition with Game Pass and with the first first party things coming out. But yeah, but as I said, I mean I think Sony could pull the trigger on something very similar if they wanted to. It's just whether they you know especially with that partnership with Microsoft now, like you know they could they could offer probably a very similar service. It's just whether they want to or not. And whether it's, uh, you know, whether they, I mean, it's like we were talking to David about this before the show and it's Mm. like he made the point and he's right. You know, Sony often mess up on pricing of stuff and everything. You know, it's like they'll do something and it'll be like ridiculously expensive. Yeah. It's, uh, you know. Did I tell you, I told you, didn't I? Did I say on the show the other week, I I accidentally got Pierce now. I've actually accidentally paid for it. Yes, you did. That, yeah, that that (laughs) wound me up. (laughs) (laughs) Because it's... Really didn't want to pay for it because yeah. it's. But yeah, um, but fundamentally, I thought it was an excellent, excellent show. I really wanted to watch it again actually yeah. before we podded because uh, you know just because mm-hmm. the next day I woke up feeling a little bit different about it. But yeah, I thought it was brilliant and uh, yeah. Anyway, I mean, it's cool. very easy to be very cynical about it because there was yeah. a lot of just like the whooping and all that kind of thing. But they, I mean, they did the best they could, I think, with you know with that. And yeah. while I don't think that they completely like blew anything out of the water it was still a very good show like it was very yeah. like solid yeah definitely cool. absolutely um next off is bethesda um mm. so they did the usual thing <laughs> which had done a thing the last couple of years where they started with like video talking about community and the players yeah, and yeah. so on and so forth they did the same thing a standard video talking heads people saying how much i've you know, loved bethesda games all my life and this and the other uh p hines comes on stage and does a little talk um, Todd Howard does a little gag saying we've had an incredibly exciting year this year at Bethesda and given some of that excitement I'm impressed you were still here you know in, uh-huh. implying obviously the Fallout stuff um, yeah. and then we went on straight on to Fallout 76 and we had a lot of difficulties we got a lot of well deserved criticism but the t- team kept working on it and you kept playing it and yeah, and basically Fallout 76 is the best online community ever you know, okay. standard thing, uh, and yeah. and and we there was more semi six stuff later, but they basically started with that apology, basically. Right. That is. Um, but like the first game they actually showed properly was Elder Scrolls Blades. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how they started off. But they started off saying, you Fox know, it's, it's done well, but but fundamentally, it's coming out on Switch. Oh um, right, coming out on Switch fall twenty nineteen. It's going to be free to download, and it's cross platform with uh, mobile and tablet. All right. Yeah. So and all the usual microtransactions, etc. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I presume so. Yeah. But yeah, Elder Scrolls Blades come out. They went back to Fallout seventy six. They said thanks for sticking with us, but you loved our updates. Like you know, you you really loved it, guys. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they've got a huge new patch coming called Wastelanders, and it's got human NPCs. People were c- going crazy over that. This yeah. Yeah. this was the worst conference, and they, they were all bad. <laughs> the, the crowd was so bad this year. Um, really? This is the worst one for whooping. It was ridiculous. I think, you know, obviously after Xbox and Pill were like shouting and basically saying, you know, like, you're, you're breathtaking ki- to Keanu. Maybe I'll <laughs> thought, wow, I'm going to shout out stuff. Maybe I'll get a free copy of a game. Um, <laughs> mm. It was mental. Everything they were saying, they're whooping and hollering. There's a really, really I mean, funny video on Twitter of yeah. uh, this like super <laughs> cut of all like, the whoops and the hollers. And basically they were saying like things like, I mean, I've never got examples come on, but basically really basic things like, we've got a game coming out. And people are like, what? <laughs> we don't see it was like and it was like it's like and there's a dragon it was it's just it was it was insane it was absolutely insane just like just constant whooping and it, <laughs> it, it did get i mean you it, this video you've got to see it sean because you look at like they zoom in on the presenter's face and even the presenter's just kind of like oh for fuss <laughs> it's just this is too much because <laughs> it, it was seriously ridiculous sean like yeah. it was the, the bethesda one i think was the worst out of all of them definitely but there was like i mean this guy was just like some i mean it sounded at one point like this guy was just being sarcastic yeah it sounded like, like heckling, he kept, actually yeah it did start to sound like heckling because whatever they said it was just like yeah <laughs> there, there is just, there is something you know, like dangerously obsessive about bethesda fans i always feel like i don't know just people who are yeah, into no, fallout and other this. Skulls are like yeah they're just insane Weird. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I wish I wrote down specific things, but you should find the video afterwards. It's horrendous. Basically, yeah, it's a wasteland. Yeah, there's we'll human NPCs, there's a new main quest, and like, um, there's choice and consequences, new weapons and gear, but basically, big dialogue trees now, and everyone getting everyone mad on that. There's a free okay. trial of 76 until 17th of June, and yeah. then they announced um, something stupid. Uh, Wastelanders is, of course, going to have a battle royale mode. Oh, for Fallout Battle oh, okay. Royale. Uh, it's called Nuclear Winter. Fifty uh-huh. odd players, mm-hmm. and the winner get, gets is the overseer of the vault. I don't quite know what that means. Right. Um, I mean, I haven't played a Fallout game, but I it, 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 it's the combat sort of like quick and like built for that sort of stuff. I What's mean, the deal? No, no I mean, obviously awful. Fallout seventy six is different because obviously it's a multiplayer game. So the the others um, had this thing called the VATS mode, where so you could just play it as an FPS if you really wanted to, but that is a bad idea. And basically, you can enter this mode where it like pauses combat, and it's like right, you choose where you're aiming, and then it's all sort of governed by statistics and, and maths and stuff. Um, and that's when it sort of becomes an RPG. Um, obviously, that stuff isn't really in Fallout seventy six because you can't pause an online game so no. i guess it has to just be a, an fps and i guess that's what this battle royale yeah. mode is i mean like in the video they yeah. showed like um i think they might have had ring of fire as the soundtrack and basically fire right. all around this massive arena and also they showed yeah, okay. like your building uh mm. again obviously fortnite you can build super super quickly i haven't played fallout 76 yeah. but they're, they're showing people building structures and stuff yeah mm-hmm and basically, the winner is the overseer of the vault. I don't know what that really means, but um, yeah, battle royale. It's mode, just 50... the person who's a, yeah, the person who's in charge. Of yeah, but yeah, but like, vault. oh, so at the end, it'll just say you're the overseer, and then next game, I presume. Right, brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's I mean, I, it might be fine. It just feels a bit desperate at this point, doesn't it? Yeah, it wasn't clear if it's like a limited time mode or or what, but right, it's yeah. called Nuclear Winter, and I, I'm not actually sure when right. it's out, but that's that's the thing. Um, then Shin uh, Shinji. Hang on. Shinji Mikami. Shinji Mikami, yeah, came out on stage oh, yeah. uh, announcing a brand new IP, uh, yeah. which is really exciting. It's called Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, once again, mm-hmm. it's a big CGI trailer, so don't know about gameplay, but Brilliant. basically it's an action-adventure game. Uh, they mentioned super, supernatural evils, uh, mm-hmm. supernatural evil within it. Uh, the woman, This woman came out called Ikumi Nakamura. Not sure if she's a director, but she mm-hmm. was amazing. She, she, I think she might yeah. say she was like, nervous because she wasn't like great at speaking English and stuff, but she had like, mm-hmm. loads and loads of energy, and the crowd absolutely loved her. And along with um, <laughs> sort of the Keanu... Uh, Keanu stuff and some other stuff that happened like the, 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 basically people loving her people like doing like fan art already of this woman <laughs> um, she she like um, said a few things saying like I'm sorry about my English and this and the other and she was look, looked a little bit nervy but then like um, when she presented the trailer she like did like thing with her arms to like to, to point but it's just like I don't know. I, it, 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 she did this crazy cool thing and everyone loves it. Basically. <laughs> anyway, that is. it's a trailer. It looks cool. As, uh, this is my notes. It looks cool as fuck. It's a Tokyo City escape. It looks like a regular day with commuters going to and from work. 
uh, and then basically you suddenly see people start disappearing and their clothes just falling down to the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, there's weird creatures with like bony hands and a samurai and stuff and explosions. People running away from creatures with, and looks sort of like Walking Dead in that regards. <laughs> no idea what the gameplay is really. It looks cool as fuck. Um, and that's Ghostwire Tokyo. But it's just so exciting to be like to see a new IP. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. especially because we... at Bethesda, because you know they tend to sort of just go through the same kind of things. And this was, yeah, this looked great. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we IP, talked about especially from... um, we talked about Shinji Mikami the other week, didn't we? And it'd be cool to see what he's doing next. So yeah, yeah wicked. Yeah, it, it, it looks awesome. But again, it's just CGI trailers. So it's it's hard to say. At this point, mm. I, in my notes, in my in caps, I say the whooping is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> this is when like the Elder Scrolls Online guy come out, and yeah. They were basically saying like we got an up- we've done some updates and people were going like mad over that. Yeah. Elder Scrolls right. Online, so new trailers, new stuff, and I put who cares? But the people in the audience cared. Um, <laughs> there's a new. Di- a- I I mean I don't I've never heard of a single person actually playing the Elder Scrolls Online like no. beyond like an initial trial. I think uh, like, I think they were all in the audience, Sean, because <laughs> they were they were really pumped for it. It was uh, yeah yeah. They announced a few things. I didn't write them all down, but basically there's like a scale breaker dungeon DLC in August. Anyway, people go mad Good about that, whatever. Um, next, um, basically this one comes out on stage saying like, imagine a game with a Saturday morning cartoon style, and it's a free to play mm-hmm. mobile game. Here mm-hmm. it is, and it's a game called Commander Keen. And my what? notes were like, who the fuck? So is this a well-known character? Yes. Yeah. It's just, I mean, <laughs> oh, I've never heard of him. So this is what, this uh, like, this is what it yeah. did before Wolfenstein. Before Doom it? and Wolfenstein, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I had no idea. Jews, they did 2D platforms for the yeah, well, Commander Keenan. The reason Keenan. this was also cool is because this this was like, this really showed how they had like mastered like PC, like, you know, gaming, if you sort of mean. You know, like, because they made like platformers that, that were... Some, I mean, at the time, people were saying, "Oh, this is like comparable to Mario or whatever." It, that's <laughs> bullshit, obviously. Yeah. But they were good. You know, they were they were pretty yeah. good, like Commander Keen games. Yeah. Um, I mean, in terms of what this game is, what, what, what how would you describe it, James? Because I thought it was maybe like platforming, but what, what do you it's think? It's a it was? mobile game, Sean. And, okay. Uh, it's a mobile game uh, where you sort of have to get to the top of the platform. Or it looked terrible. It's, I mean, it. it <laughs> It, it it was a free to play mobile game and it didn't look very good and yeah reaction hasn't been great online. No, yeah, so really. yeah, people. they are soft launching it this summer on iOS and Android. Great. Yeah, uh, they went on to Fallout Shelter. They said it had 150 million plus downloads. Uh, uh, that was that. <laughs> yeah. They went on to Elder Scrolls Legends, which is a card game on mobile. Oh Again, yeah, yeah, that was a uh, pill going man- mental at this point. It was doing my nuts, and mm. I was really thinking about just muting the stream. It was so bad. <laughs> I mean, Matt, you you would feel like that. Imagine how I felt. <laughs> yeah. like this. I mean, I, I don't mind mooping if something is amazing, but it was every fucking line they were saying, and it yeah, felt sarcastic. Yeah. It felt like heckling towards you know, <laughs> not even towards the end, towards the beginning. It felt like heckling. Uh, went on to Rage Two. There's a massive mm-hmm. rise of the Ghost expansion, new stories, modes, weapons, new cheat oh. codes with like zero gravity or low gravity and colourful mode and all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, mm. I mean, I, I had no interest in Rage 2 whatsoever, but, you know, that, that's coming. I'm hearing coming. good things with people who, like after the initial wave of reviews, people who've taken their time with it seem to actually be really enjoying it. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, uh, when, this when new Rise cheap, of the Ghost oh, expansion look. looks mad. So uh, yeah. cool. uh, if you're into that, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's more colour, more crazy things and... Mm-hmm. There's like new crazy weapons you can get. There's our bike and some other stuff as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Then awesome. the Wolfenstein guy came out, or one of the Wolfenstein guys came out. Uh, mm-hmm. Mentioned a couple of games, first of which is Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot. It's a VR game. All right. uh, I don't think they mentioned which platform was, but it looks like sort of an arcade no. shooter. All right. Yeah, it just, yeah, it looked like a, another shooter. But yeah, yeah okay. there was no, again, no gameplay or anything like no. that, really. It was just, Brilliant. you know. Yeah, that, that comes out in July. Then they mentioned Wolfenstein Youngblood, uh, and this oh, yeah. looks so fucking cool. Um, yeah, man. They mentioned it's going to have co op. Uh, the game. I'm not sure if that was confirmed or known before. Um, uh, well, it's the first trailer was like it is. It's BJ's two daughters. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. So yeah, it's set yeah. in the eighties, so, yeah. twenty years after New Colossus, set in okay. Paris, and BJ's twin daughters are trying to find him. And it looks right. fucking yeah. brilliant. It just cool. looks so good. I mean, I, I love the previous one, and yeah, this looks more the same but crazier. Uh, and co-op as well. Yeah, I think it'd be fantastic. Yeah, awesome. uh, it comes out July twenty sixth. That game. Um, oh right, shit! Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, I, mean, I, I need to play. I'm gonna have to stream it because it'll be amazing to stream. It, it looks, yeah, yeah it looks yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need, yeah. I need to play New Colossus, man. I've still not checked it out. Uh, they also mentioned that it wasn't in this, but I think I've seen like an interview after. Actually, like the arcane helped them with uh, 
some of the level design stuff, which oh, has also okay. got people quite pumped because you yeah, yeah, yeah. know how, how good Arcane's level design is. I wrote here yeah. as a note, isn't it mad how every single game is about killing and blood and gore? And like, <laughs> I, I just thought that looks, you know, like this, obviously E3 is massive for the gaming industry and this is where potentially, you know, people like BBC News or other, or other people who are not normally covering games will cover games. So I'm like, from the outside, it's, it feels just a bit embarrassing. It's like everything is just about shooting, like, especially with you know, shootings in America and gun laws and stuff. Sometimes I think mm. it's just mad how every single game is just about violence. Not that I've got an issue with it. It's been that way for fun. a long time. In fact, if anything, it's probably more diverse now than it's ever been. But yeah, it's the, that stuff makes for good trailers. So Yeah, it really does. And, and tends like, to be put well, front and well, center, Youngblood look fantastic. But mm. it's like, you know, me and probably all the millions of people watching and all the people in the crowd, like, we're all just like going, yes, fucking yes, like, you know, with all the blood and guts and gore. Just, I don't know, something, yeah. I just suddenly woke up and I'm like, it's just weird how everything, yeah. everything's about killing and shooting. Anyway, regardless. Ne- next <laughs> game, Deathloop, which is Arcane Leon's new game. Um, all right. There's two uh, French guys, I don't know if they're French Canadian, but French guys came out, uh, they, they were cool as fuck, they said the fuck, they said, they said the F word, they said the fuck word. <laughs> said the um, fuck again, the, the trailer was a bit, um, mysterious basically it's like a man and woman they sort of seem like they're rivals in this weird sort of desert style landscape uh, the mm-hmm. man says he's trying to break the cycle the woman says she's trying to keep it going they both keep getting killed and the loop starts again um, right. and it looked cool as fuck from the trailer but again no idea really about gameplay but yeah right. uh, and, and, and what, did you, did you, what do you think of that trailer James? what the Deathloop one? yeah um, I thought it was alright I I didn't I, I wasn't really massively excited by it to be honest. Oh, really? I yeah. mean, I've always really cool because in this already we all had that that that, that um, Ghostwire Tokyo new IP. Now we've got another one. It's like this is what feels like more than so, we had but... in the Microsoft conference already. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but then it was also just like it's another shooting game. Do you know what I mean? It's, it is. But I was it, like, I knew what we just seen... about. That's what got me. But after we'd seen like Wolf Inside Young Blood, it was just like another like oh, okay, it's another. Other people with people killing each I other. Mean, but yes, but yeah. This will be more a bit more interesting with like there's some loop thing, it's like a man and woman against each other. I thought it looked great and uh, it's Arcane Leon, so it's gonna be gonna be banging. Yeah. Um next they went on these two guys came on to talk about Orion, which is Bethesda's streaming platform. Oh you're joking. But this one's a little bit different apparently. This one actually yeah. helps game engines work with Stadia and XCloud. And basically this streaming platform oh. sort of integrates with the engine first. Rather than oh, I so guess, it's like, what so it's like middleware rather than yeah. An actual, they say okay. um, like streaming is like twenty percent faster because it works within the engine rather than like the network right. and stuff. I guess it's really easy okay. to integrate with other engines. Um, and they had us uh, someone come on playing Doom uh, on their phone with like sixty frames a second, and it says no perceptible latency. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I mean, you can go to slayersclub.com and sign up and you can maybe get access to like a beta they're doing over summer. I signed up to see what it's okay. like. Yeah, yeah. Um, why, why not? Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, yeah, it, I mean, it's hard to say. They said there's no perceptible latency, but it's very hard to say. Mm. Yeah, then, there was so many streaming services at this thing. Oh, yeah. It was just... Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's getting silly, really. Well, streaming, streaming services, Desperate passes... Desperate for us to care about it. Yeah, everyone's like, we need to get people on as many subs as possible. If you didn't have things like Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime, if you just had gaming ones, you'd already be spending a fuckload of money between, I don't know, PSN, Xbox, Live, Game Pass, there's other ones, Stadia coming. It's, uh, it's just bonkers. so, like, like, so many people are talking about their own streaming platforms, but it's like, just give me one that works, and then I'll stop being such a cynical ass about it. And then... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, oh, great, you're starting one as well. But I still haven't actually tried one and gone, yeah, do you know what? That like, okay, you know, in terms of, you know, digital rights management, I think they're a fucking nightmare. But I've not personally, I've not witnessed any proof that they're a good idea for the end user yet. Well, do you know what I mean? One of the things, Sean, that they had from Stadia that was like, one of their plus points was like, basically, this is not going to be worse than you're experiencing now, <laughs> which was just like, what is that? Yeah. As like a, as, as a thing. What it's a like, I mean, point. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, you know, it's like it it works. Don't worry, it, it's not as bad. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> it's just I don't know. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then they ended their conference with uh, Doom Eternal, which looks yeah. amazing. It's out on November twenty second. It's got a new multiplayer mode called Battle Mode, where basically you're like a what they call a fully kitted out Slayer versus mm-hmm. a couple of like uh, demons. So it's PVE. 
and there's like three okay. rounds and stuff but yeah it, it looks amazing it like they had a trailer and it's like okay it looks like more doom uh but mm. then they had like a little bit of a gameplay i guess a gameplay trailer and it looks fucking mental it looks so good cool. with the music bump pumping in the background and yeah uh mm. i didn't actually play doom 2016 i played the first level oh, and stopped. Man. mate it's That's so amazing. good yeah it's I so that, good yeah some cows might come up at around the same time, so I stopped. I played one level and then stopped. But it's on Game Pass, man. Okay, I should, I should play it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because uh, everyone said how good it is. But yeah, this looks ama- amazing. Uh, and that was it for Bethesda. I heard lots of people saying that Bethesda was amazing and way better than Microsoft. Yeah. I wouldn't agree. I wouldn't with that. say <laughs> that. I mean, it had the two IPs, which is like okay, cool, awesome, new games to get excited for. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was it was good, but it didn't didn't blow my socks off. Yeah. Uh, mm. Next was Devolver. Now um, I didn't actually watch Bethesda. I didn't watch Bethesda or Devolver live because I set my alarm for quarter past one in the morning to watch Bethesda. But then I was <laughs> knackered, mostly because yeah, like I went to bed after Microsoft at eleven, and I was so sort of pumped and like you know <laughs> wired with all the excitement, I couldn't get to sleep till like one in the morning. And I was like, <laughs> or, or like half twelve or something. And I was, I was fucked. So the alarm went on. I, 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 uh, I snoozed it. Got spilled. You know, got Scientologists kicking off because I said, everyone be back here for quarter past one. Yeah. And, and I, I, wasn't, <laughs> I did not turn up. So many apologies. See, you don't want to make promises like that, Matt. You know, I, I yeah. just I never promised and to I, do I, stuff I, like also, that. Also, I was working just... the next day, so maybe it's a little bit different. I had today off, but anyway. But yeah, I, many apologies if you did go to our Twitch channel to watch it, and I, I wasn't there. <laughs> Many, many, many apologies. <laughs> anyway, didn't watch him live, but uh, I saw him today. Bethesda, we just covered Devolver. Now, uh, what, what did you, Sean, think of our pre- of the previous Devolver sort of videos? So the, the first one I wasn't wild about, but then last year's I did actually enjoy a lot more. So Yeah, I, I mean, I thought mm. they'd both been fucking excellent. What, what do you think, mm-hmm. James? Uh, I, well, I've always loved it. I thought it was brilliant. Mm. And, this, uh, yeah, this and, one and this one did not disappoint yeah. at all. Um, <laughs> obviously, on the, uh, on the in the previous and last year's E three thing, e Nina, who was a presenter, she died. Uh, mm. I think did she like get blown up or head blown up or something? Anyway, can't remember. She was yeah. up on stage. Uh, this new one starts. Nina is still dead. Uh, she couldn't be brought back, uh, but someone has the idea to actually scrap the press conference uh, because Nina, because they couldn't possibly do it without Nina. Uh, mm. And instead, they go to a video show called Devolver Direct. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they even use sort of same sort of graphics and like the sounds and it's got like, little red sort of triangles as it shows like the name of the game um, yeah I was like oh, it's, it's so so funny this other someone else did like one like the pool on, on camera like well you know I've got a great idea for Nina how about we like plug her mind into this thing and we can sort of program her so she can still do the presenting but she's basically dead and they're like that's a great idea <laughs> Let's do Devolver <laughs> Direct and yeah it, it basically it's presented like a direct it's fantastic um the next sort of shot is it's like a totally white background. Nina's there looking sort of like brain dead. And there's a guy in the background talking about, oh, yeah, it's been an incredible game, incredible year for video games. The people making video games have been creating some incredible yeah. video games. <laughs> so many video games have been created. This, this is what was brilliant because it was, it was almost like, it was like the Microsoft one. Of yeah. like, <laughs> in terms of like just taking the piss out yeah. of that, of just like you know, it's one of the things. It's like games. I mean, fair play to Devolver for being the first to do this because it's been such an open goal for years. Yeah. Like the the, the whole, you know the whole format of the way the E3 conferences have worked has just been so. I mean, they've not all been formulaic, but yeah, like we all know the you know like you know the E3 bingo cards, like oh a guy in fucking jacket and jeans and yeah. talking about experiences, all, all the tropes. yeah, yeah, like all that stuff has been laid out for people to take the piss out of for years. So yeah, fair play for to devolve. Yeah, for so at this point Nina's it. like, what the hell are you saying? And then it then cuts to the first trailer, and it's this first game called Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Uh, again, it's like another CGI trailer, but basically it's those mm. colourful, shiny plastic sort of creatures, a little bit like uh, Gang Beast ish, but basically oh, yeah. it's like weird sort of bulbous characters. Uh, it's 100 mm. players battling out, and it looks a little bit like Total Wipeout, the TV show. Maybe okay. they're sort of going over what looks like across like a giant sort of inflatable sort of course essentially and they try and knock mm-hmm. each other off and it, at various points on the trailer it says like 88 remaining or 64 remaining um mm-hmm. comes out 2020 it's meant to be they said it's like a hectic multiplayer game it looks all right cool uh, and then cuts back to nina and at this point she, like the, the, she's like realizing that she can't swear or say anything like weird in this like um in this weird like direct land she tries to say like yeah. fuck and she says like flip and she says tries to say ship which says like something else and um and then they have this like this guy Again, I talk like loads of like, video games, bollocks, basically. And they threw GTA mm. under the bus, uh, really? which I thought was amazing. They said, like, well, we're, not, <laughs> we're not some shady, like, key by, like, GTA. And I was like, oh, okay, I like that. 
I like that. <laughs> Next game announcers looks fucking awesome. It's called Devolver yeah. Bootleg, and it basically rips <laughs> off Devolver's own games. It's an 18 one pack. Um, I will yeah. say it looks like it's PC only before you get too excited, yeah. but it looks fucking brilliant. Uh, the, the games are Hotline, Mil- Hotline Milwaukee, um, <laughs> Enter the Gun Dungeon, Shooty Boots. I'm not sure what game Shooty Boots was taking a piss out of, but it's like Apex Junior. Um, uh, oh, down, uh, Downwell. Oh, okay, okay. I right. uh, Apex yeah. Junior, uh, Luft Trousers, Capsul- <laughs> Capsulvania, <laughs> um, <laughs> Absolver Fighting Championship, and my favourite is Piku Biku Ball Stars. Now, if you play Piku Niku, Ball Stars was the fictional game within that that they all love playing. Um, anyway, yeah, Piku, I guess Piku Biku Ball Stars, yeah. And essentially, it's like this mashups of their own games. It looks like it's PC cool. only, sadly, but yeah, that game looks so good. Hey, don't uh, bother me, mate. Um... <laughs> yeah. I'm it bad. looks fucking class. Uh, next cool. was Carry On. It's like a 2D. It's all almost like Celeste-like 2D pixel art, but it's very it's sort of hover based. This was, I mean, it's basically like the um, reverse thing of like you are the monster in this, right. and you're sort of like devouring people right. and like, yeah. yeah, going from area to area and stuff. It, yeah, it look it look really quality. Yeah, it looks cool. fantastic. Yeah, it's like a, a huge like big like red ble- uh, bleeding tentacle monster chasing people around. That's out 2020. Uh, mm. Then they announced an arcade cabinet, not a mini one, but an actual full size arcade cabinet yeah. called Enter the Gungeon House of the Gun Dead. Uh, it's an arcade <laughs> cabinet coming out in 2020. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? I know. They, they, okay. they lost it at this point. I love it. I so, love what? It. It's an arcade. So, what? It's like a light gun game or. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a light gun game in the Enter oh. the. They said it's, it's part of the Enter the Gungeon universe or the, <laughs> the, the Gooniverse or the, the, the. I don't know. They had a weird name for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, House of the Gun Dead. Jesus. Okay, and actual, they didn't obviously say price, but um, yeah, 2020. Jesus. Then they had uh, the Messenger Picnic Panic DLC. Uh, you've right. had the Messenger, haven't you, James? I have, yeah. So, were you excited for this? And I will play this. Yeah. yeah, this looks good. It's like a remix based, well, not a remix, but you know, there's all like new sort of stuff and mm-hmm. remix bosses and stuff, and it's free, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. that's up July 11th. And then I had a trade, ended like a bit of a weird soft note, but it ended with my. Friend Pedro trailer, which you know, oh, it's yeah. cool. You know, it comes out like in next week. Well, we or already, whatever, but yeah, we already know yeah, what it is. It's a bit of a weird way to end, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's fucking brilliant as ever. Because I, I, yeah. I love the previous Devolver ones, and uh, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought it was really, really funny. Love cool. watching that. Um, nice. Next one was a PC gaming show. Now, <laughs> James and I, and, I was about to actually, say, I was about to say, can we have a break? But this isn't going to take long, is it? This is not going to take long till we we'll have a break after this. Definitely. <laughs> we, um, you know, I said, you know, as I was saying throughout, hey, um, we're not doing any talks over, but we're gonna be hosting well, we're going to have like the each of these conferences showing on our Twitch channel come in and watch it with us and plenty of people did come and watch the PC game show with us and within five minutes people were like what is this I'm bored <laughs> it was so boring actually James left um, <laughs> that, it's true I, I tried really hard Sean I tried like in the beginning to be it's, interested it's such a shame because on. they do often show really interesting stuff but it's yeah the, it's always front loaded with here's some new RAM or whatever mm. It wasn't like that. I mean, it was no. the presentation style was not great okay. either. Yeah, I mean, it, it was weird. like, I mean, as I said, it was like sort of like, uh, I'd say early to mid nineties, <laughs> like I don't know, like Gamesville, yeah, like yeah, kind yeah. of style. Like really, it wasn't. But they yeah, were definitely playing great. to that. It wasn't like, oh, it's so embarrassing. It's like that. Like the guy, um, and I've reckon I've recognised the guy presenting. I don't know his name, but hmm. he was like ridiculously smiley, but not in like a. A standard presenting way. It was. It felt over the top. Mm. It, it, am I wrong in saying that, James? Or I oh, know it. It did feel over the top, but not in a kind of like self-referential way. I oh, don't think it so. I, I kind of... thought. It... No, I didn't oh, think no, so. No, okay, right. It was borderline yeah. basically because some points I'm like they're in on the joke, and other time I'm like no, they're not. And anyway, mm. um, it, yeah. Uh, but I mean, and but uh, fundamentally, the biggest thing I watched the whole thing. Uh, Sam Barlow's telling lies looks fucking excellent. We all know oh, that yeah. anyway. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the next game from San Barlow, obviously we've always seen the trailer and the announcement previously, but that game is so good. I can't wait for that. Uh, we'll cover the first and last games next week because I, I wrote them down. Don't worry about it. But um, <laughs> not great. Uh, so next up was Ubisoft. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, th- there was quite a lot of excitement for this, mostly because, you know, we know we've got big IPs and stuff, and, uh, given what we've had up, up to now. Especially after the PC mm. gaming show, we're like, can yeah. I wait for Ubisoft? Can I wait? Uh, start <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, I, was, I was really I mean, psyched for this one. Ubisoft can go either way, can't they? Like, they've done some really boring ones and some surprisingly brilliant ones. So, mm. yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like they know 
what they're about much more like a few years ago they were yeah. i don't think they were that far from like ea in terms of being disliked and it's like, oh great it's another ubisoft away from world game but in recent years with like games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and stuff have done so well and the fact they they have released these games like Division where it's so solid at launch and they're also sticking with games that maybe don't do you so well for the first year and they keep going. It feels mm. like they've yeah, grew yeah. up like a really good sort of um well I I, I think a lot of people like them now actually where they wouldn't have done a few years yeah. ago. And it starts yeah, sure. off with an orchestra playing Assassin's Creed songs. Um I mean, yeah. I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed fan, but I guess if you are in the audience it must have been pretty cool hearing that stuff live. Um, and what do you think about the orchestra, James? Oh, I shouldn't say, should I? Really? Well, you thought they were rubbish, didn't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't say they were rubbish. I just said, I said, is it me or does this not sound brilliant? Because uh, yeah, it sounded a bit <laughs> off in places. You can hear it, Sean. You can say okay. what you think. Yeah, but I, I what, think in terms of what, Creed, just badly recorded or people like people out of tune or it was, sounded a little bit out of tune in places. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. But it, what, it couldn't have been out of tune, James. You think like they would have done that and like, oh, someone's oboe is out of tune. I'm sure, it's fine. I don't know. Anyway, but we'll listen to it, Sean, and you can find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah. Um, the that. first game to start off with is Watch Dogs 3. Now, okay. I'll, cut, I'll cut to the end. It looks fucking amazing, Sean. It looks so, <laughs> so good. Oh, like, yeah. like it was, and I'll, I'll get into why it looks good. Basically, mm-hmm. um, so it's uh, like this had, this had already been leaked and then I think confirmed like a few days before. It's called Watch Dogs mm. Legion. Right, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if that was like, when you're online still. But yeah, Watch yeah, Dogs this Legion. Was, this leaked on like the Tuesday or something, didn't it? So, yeah, it was definitely yeah. in that week and then they just yeah. confirmed it. But Watch Dogs yeah. Legion is set in London um, and basically uh, they start off and it's like, it, 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 it's it's London but it's like, it looks like a Watch Dogs environment. Like, you can see those like lines going to like cameras and, and right, you know, yeah. like it, it's the same sort of aesthetic of course but it's in London. Starts off and you're playing as an, uh, what I've classed here as an elderly woman uh, called right. Helen and she looks like a granny. I, I, feel, I hope that's not like mm-hmm. unpeasy to say but she looks like a, an old granny but she actually kicks ass. She, um, right. she's like hacking stuff and she's like, she's literally like <laughs> fighting people Um and but, shooting people in the face, yeah, yeah, yeah the whole thing. But basically, <laughs> you, you can essentially hack anyone and become any NPC in the game. Uh, cool. And they all have like various sets of oh, skills. Okay, because when it because that first leak was like, oh, you can like recruit, you, you you can recruit people and then you can play as them, which mm. sounded like oh, it was going to be like a limited number of people who are like on your no, team. It's be like anybody, right? Okay, the thing. yeah. <laughs> it be not in this particular like, gameplay, and and, the, and we actually saw gameplay, which is lovely. Like again, mm-hmm. compared to our Microsoft stuff, it's all gameplay. It's a gameplay sort yeah. of a, a trailer, I guess. But yeah, it's mm-hmm. they focus on like uh, mostly Helen. Yeah, basically she's going around kicking ass. She's like climbing like uh, climbing telegraph poles or like uh, or like, mm-hmm. like gates and all and like buildings. It was it was really really funny. Obviously, mm-hmm. all the the voice dialogue was all like Cockney and stuff, which is funny in itself. There was a voiceover, I think narrating what's happening as well also cockney mm. but it looks it obviously it's in london it looks absolutely brilliant um it looks really really funny you can play as anyone as i said but in this demo cool. they um highlighted like this ex-spy which i think might have been helen an ex-assassin which might be someone else and basically you can take up loads of different people who have their own separate mm. skills and stuff yeah. um it looks fucking cool i think when it was like leaked or maybe rumored people were like oh it's in london so maybe it will be like quite low, light on combat um, right, and actually, yeah. I think people who love Watch Dogs Two played it uh, like uh, non lethally and actually they were yeah, like yeah, focusing yeah. playing hacking and stuff. Like, oh, well, if it's in mm-hmm. London, you know, obviously less guns in America, you would hope. Course, uh, but yeah. no, there's like huge shootouts and all sorts. So, oh, um, right, okay, wasn't really about. It's that. also, I mean, yeah, they majored on the fact that it was like a post Brexit. Oh like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they actually yeah. said that he was like, he was like, you know, London's, you know, it's in a mess. It's like post Brexit, and it's, like, <laughs> it's like, like basically we're going to be we're profiting from you know the the mess that Misery. the UK's in at the moment, yeah, yeah. and it's just it was. I it just was hope they do stick to that because you know they've done this before. Where they're like, yeah, yeah, it's all it's look, it's got a political stance, and then by the time it comes out, oh no, actually, you no, know, we decided we were too scared to make a statement, so. It's just, yeah. <laughs> But, well, I mean, I mean we'll either see. way, with this, the tabloids are going to love this game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sense of it's, yeah, yeah. they're going to be all over it. It's going to be quite interesting to see. Yeah, but I, I like this is when like the guy came on came on stage. I think he might have come on stage, introduced the trailer, and then come on out on stage to 
to to say some more about it but he's like london is set you know like brexit we don't know <laughs> like they i think is it like we don't know or they don't know where where it's going it's like yeah right. no thanks you know but basically like <laughs> uk and basically said, but it's a surveillance state is, is that the terminology they use james yeah they i mean mm. he's really just said you know like it's post brexit you know the order is sort of breaking down and you know society's you know like on its knees kind of thing and like mm. so now it's become like an authoritarian surveillance surveillance state right. and everything and yeah yeah because it's like it looks like in many regards it's like set and stand london but then also in the gameplay there's loads there's like fuck loads of protests everywhere i know obviously there's lots of protests mm. in london in recent mm-hmm. like months and years but yeah it looks cool as fuck basically that's out on march 6 2020 so okay so not far yeah, off doesn't then. yeah yeah not far but it looks absolutely fucking brilliant i mean i know the first one it, like the first demo looked cool, but I never bothered playing it. Second one, I know got better reviews, but it's a little bit less serious. It's brilliant. It, this looks Second so one was great. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I said the other week. I I did the like. There's like a two hour trial you could play, and I I properly enjoyed it. Like I do actually want to buy the game because it's always cheap these days, isn't it? Watch Dogs Two. Um, yeah. And it was but, just a, a wonderful like place to just drive around. Like it's really like really nice recreation of San Francisco. So, well. Yeah. I mean, one of the good things about this is it seems, Sean, mm. that with Brexit, yeah. the congestion problems in London have been solved. Oh, brilliant. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was the, there's lots of driving around, so that's, that's good. <laughs> but no, yeah, it looks just so fucking cool. Like, I was, I'm not sure if I was like, laughing a lot or just... I know I had a smile on my, my face for the whole demo. Uh, I'm definitely pumped for this in a way. I haven't really oh, so been there was for like, actual, a Watch Dogs game. There was a gameplay demo, was there, yeah? Well, yeah, it was like a gameplay cool. trailer, yeah. So okay, it, was a, cool. it wasn't a demo on stage or anything, but it was the video right. I was seeing was someone going around doing missions and it might cut to different characters and right, stuff. Yeah. But I mean, actually, this is one of the weird things, isn't it? Because this is one of the biggest games that was at E3 where you could actually see detail about the game. You can actually like the UI yeah, and people playing. Well, not people playing it, but you can see right. what, what it is mm-hmm. a video of someone playing the game, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Not just but yeah, it, it got me pumped. So I can't wait. It looks so. It looks really funny. It feels like it knows itself. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, next cool. is um, this guy called uh, you point out is Rob M- Rob McKinley. McKinley oh, is from McK- is Always yeah, Sunny. From Always Sunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes out on stage yeah. and says basically um, he and and also some people who are like maybe produced or it's, or it's Always Sunny. They've been yeah. doing a TV show comedy. Uh, yeah, in, it's about game development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. basically uh, in, in in conjunction, or maybe a supported, or uh, certainly mm-hmm. consulted with Ubisoft. And basically, okay. the the show is called uh, oh, fuck. I can't remember what it's called. Basically, and basically, it's about a company who makes the world's largest action MMO game. And the right. show follows a team as they're about to launch their new DLC pack. Right. Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's something like Mythic. Do you, do you remember what it's called? Is it Mythic Quest or something? Epic, Mythic Quest. Well, no, it's, it's, it's like quite a generic name, but anyway, that's what the show's called. <laughs> I think it was Mythic Quest. Um, yeah. yeah, it's about them launching a new, new DLC. It's got like um, Abed from Community in it. It's got some okay. other people uh, I recognize, you know. Uh, but it's on Apple TV Plus only. Oh. Which is annoying. Oh, uh, never yeah. mind. <laughs> uh, which is obviously, if, you, if you're not aware, it's Apple TV's like, new subscription, premium subscription TV package thing. Yeah, mm. so it looks cool, but um, who knows? Uh, it's like The Office, it feels like, but it's for games. He came out on stage and there was a bit of a, like, a trailer. I thought it was it. all right. Yeah. It looked, looked fine. I mean, mm. It's Always Sunny is really, really funny, so yeah, yeah. You know, from the same pool. No, it, yes. it's interesting that I've been working with Ubisoft because when I heard he was doing a, a show about game development, I was like, well, what, what does he know about game development? Well, what's the, <laughs> what's yeah. the angle there? But, yeah, well, he said okay. he loves games. Okay. He didn't say I'm so addicted to games, but he said, <laughs> says, you know, uh, he says, I, I love playing them. And, uh, and I for one believe him, Sean. Yep, why not? Um, next comes this like, big, old, big old section about Rainbow Six Siege. They've introduced a new mm-hmm. character. It's like a James Bond-style spy character, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brawlhalla. Uh, I haven't heard of the game, but Brawlhalla's got an Adventure Time characters in it now. That's Okay, that. I mean, Bra- uh, Brawlhalla's all right. I've had a go. Yeah, so is that, that's like a, is that like a Smash Brothers-style game? Yeah, and it's free to play. It's on Switch oh, okay. as well. Um, yeah. I mean, it look. Oh, no, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm not going to... No, go on, continue. No, go on. Continue. No, go on. no I just don't want to be right. I'm just so negative about everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, go, I'm go just... on. Let's, let's hear, okay. hear what your thoughts are on Brawl Hollywood Adventure Time. No, no, no. It's, it's fine. No, it's fine. Just move on. Just okay. Move on. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Know. Obviously, you've already been announced, but uh, John Bethnal, uh, Bethel came out. He had a dog on stage. Um, that was weird. Again. <laughs> was... <laughs> so, at this point, we had, you know, we had uh, Keanu, we had George R. R. Martin, we had that woman from the. Fuck, is it? From the Bethesda. It was Bethesda, wasn't it? Yeah, Bethesda conference, yeah. and now the dog, and all of them have had like 
fan art and all sorts of stuff. Like basically, yeah. The, the, the dog it, was funny though because it just fell asleep. Yeah, it was just like. But it, there's no. It's just I, I know he. I've heard interviews with him before, and he like he loves his dog, and he like takes the dog everywhere on shoots and stuff. But it's just like I got my dog here. Just okay. It's not really related to the game, but fuck it. But people are saying I'm oh, with like Keanu and like. You know, all the people that, be, that come out on stages, it's like the most mm-hmm. wholesome, and the dog, it's like the most wholesome E3 in years. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, they announced an October release date, and um, there's a trailer for it, whatever. Oh, and it's got right. Delta Company, it's some community thing. Oh, and oh, this game has Terminator DLC. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Yeah, yeah this, this was another one. Yeah, with the Terminator DLC. I couldn't believe that. It's like, what? I mean, yeah. So Terminator DLC. Um, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it relates to the new Terminator film. Um, yeah. Tom Clancy's Elite Squad was announced next. It's a mobile game with characters <laughs> from the Ubisoft games. Yes, uh... it's got Sam Fisher in it. <laughs> okay, so you can imagine. Got Rayman in it. You can imagine what the chat was like. Um, yeah. I, well, it's it's like a tactical sort of mobile game. It's got people from Rainbow Six Siege. It's got division characters. It's got Wildlands. Sam Fisher. I mean, I mean, name one other than Sam Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlands, Wildlands, Man One. I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah. So, so that's that. Yeah. I mean, f- fucking hell! I was just all that thought. Don't why are you why are you putting Sam Fisher in games? Does what? Anyway, we'll, we'll cover this later for sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Just Dance, funny video talking about the last 10 years of Just Dance. So they said, oh, we've been, it's like backstage or made out to be backstage at a theatre saying, we've been doing, we've been dancing on these stages for 10 years. What's the point? And they're like, no, we need to dance again. We've done it for 10 years. Let's do another 10 <laughs> years. And they announced that's Just Dance 2020. Um, yeah. uh, it's coming out on Nintendo Wii. It is, it is brilliant. <laughs> it's coming out on Nintendo Incredible. Wii. Absolutely incredible. How many people actually play it on their Wii? I, I, I mean, God, it must, there must be, be a significant a number people, because, yeah, because yeah, they keep doing this. I, so, I assume they just they understood the meme and they're like, yeah, release it on Wii, even though we won't sell a single copy. I mean, the good thing is, is that means you can still play it on your Wii U as well. So that's, uh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, so that's come out just on 2020. Uh, Four One has got a limited time event with Samurai shit, uh, whatever. Uh, Rainbow Six Quarantine was announced, which is a whole new game. Um, uh, like a few months ago, maybe like well, sometime last year, there was a limited time mode in Siege. Uh, I can't mm-hmm. remember what it's called. It might be actually called Quarantine, but basically it was like a Left 4 Dead, and now they made it into a full game. Uh, it's mm-hmm. PVE, um, and now, yeah, it's like a full Rainbow Six style Rainbow Six style game but you're it's you're against zombies. Um right. and it's cool. Looks cool. Okay. That's about it. There's a Division Two thank you video, new missions coming out, new game experience, blah blah blah. They're making a division movie with Netflix with a Jessica Chastain movie. and okay. Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh yeah. Alright. So it's got it's got a good cast. I mean Yeah. That's that is. that. Yeah oh, they announced you play plus. It's a subscription um, and get your access to another, yeah, another get your access to Ubisoft games, uh, but most importantly, their premium editions. Uh, it's right. PC only, I think, at the moment. But uh, okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, is Fine. that something you would entertain, Sean? Nah. <laughs> I mean, in terms of like subscriptions to like yeah, the sort of the PC one. So presumably, yeah, if my Game Pass subscription works with the the PC stuff, that will be amazing. But like Humble Monthly has been awesome. Like I'm I'm really quite happy with that. Um. So, um, and how many, how, like, how many Ubisoft games do I really want to play on my PC? Not that many. Like, I mean, I'd have a go on Division Two. That's about it, I think. Um, unless it, unless there's a new Trackmania. Was there a new Trackmania? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no mind. Uh, no, sadly, sadly not actually. Okay. Um. Then they showed off Roller Champions, another game that was leaked beforehand. It's a roller oh, derby yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like a any team, good? yeah, team PvP sports game. It sort of feels like it's trying to echo Rocket League stuff. Right. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's, there's no cars and stuff, but it just feels like it's trying to. It's like very fun, colourful stuff, and it looks like quite a pick, good pick up and play sports game. Uh-huh. Uh, it actually looked quite fun for, from the uh, from the from the video they had. There's a demo right now on PC, but not on consoles. Um, okay. And I've heard some people say, actually, you know, I got like a win in the last second. It just felt awesome. So. I think cool. they're trying to capture a lot of the cool things that made made things feel so cool when you're playing Rocket League. Yeah, yeah. Um, at this point, there's Paul Heckling shouting out again. Really? I just wrote 2019 is the year of heckling. I think people <laughs> just like shouting and all sorts of stuff. It's just and people like think felt cocky to say whatever they want after. I think it's that like Keanu Reeves thing. I really think that sort of. 
emboldened you know, everyone yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone think, oh, I can say what I want because anything might happen. But and people yeah. maybe but, trying to find yeah, their as we've said so many times, it, it really did get quite tiresome. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was all good. Yeah, it was. Um, it was annoying. They ended with a game. Uh, called Gods and Monsters. Now, th- I think this also yeah. may have been leaked, but this is the Breath of the Wild style game. Um, and it, it looks very much similar to like a, a Breath of the Wild style and a graphical style. It's got uh-huh. a, 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 a character which looks similarish. Um, mm-hmm. It was just a trailer that basically looked at whenever some landscapes and it might have been like a voiceover. But it feels very, very, very Zelda like. Would you say, James? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it. Well, yeah, it just looked like kind of like a Zelda clone. It was kind of insane. Yeah, but it, it, it's an open world RPG. I think it's like um, it got a lot of same ideas as Assassin's Creed. I think it might have like the same director who did Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay. Um, yeah, and basically it's like a customizable hero, and, and basically um, it, it's yeah, obviously there's some bad guys you're trying to defeat, uh, and it's about sort of like mythology, but it's not like fancy specifically. It's um, Mm-hmm. I know, yeah, but anyway, but it, it, it looks good. No, it I mean, sounds I interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah all, all we've seen is the trailer. I think there is like a gameplay demo happening. So I guess over the next few days we'll we'll, we'll sort of see. But there's, yeah. I think you might be like, I think you might be able to do cooking, and there's like different uh, uh, weapons and mm-hmm. all sorts of customizable stuff. But um, I've cool. seen some people say it's very, very, very good from the gameplay that they've they've tried at E3. So yeah, it's one right. to look cool. out for, and it's an exciting new IP, which is which is cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was Ubisoft, cool. really. It, it, it was like a really lively show. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. It's it was one of the better ones, definitely. Yeah, especially after after the PC gaming show, I was like really psyched. And like Watch Dogs Three was such a great start because it looked fucking brilliant. Mm. It just looked so so good. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. and then for them, to, for them to end on that new IP, uh, that Gods and Monsters. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks good. Cool. Um, no one else really bothered staying up for the next one, but I did. It was Inside Xbox E3. Uh, they did a show. What uh, What was this? It was basically another inside Xbox, but it was like at okay. the E3 stage, really. Right. That they, they okay. had, they they talked about a lot of things we we know about. They, they they um they had an interview with Phil Spencer, and he actually mentioned that um they're basically um that every single accessory for Xbox One will be compatible with X, with the new Xbox Scarlet. Okay. Um, they also said that they're stopping backwards in the compatibility. They're stopping that. Basically, to start yeah. working now on the new Xbox One. Basically, they're stopping working on 360 games to Xbox One. Okay. To, to now mm. start working on making sure every single Xbox One game works on Scarlet. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So they're like, yeah, they're, they're, there's going to be no. I mean, there's been since like obviously you've been off. There's been one final update mm-hmm. of of like stuff that's coming out. Right, and then that's and it. The, that's your lot. Yeah. Okay. And as a gift, yeah. they're giving us two human for free. <laughs> That cut, no, that's not real. It's, yeah, it's happening, yeah. surely not. The game was fucking banned because of the weird lawsuit I mean, and everything. Yeah, the last game that, and, and basically, like <laughs> they said, like here's our, here's our last few games. They they they, they, yeah. launched, they mentioned some original Xbox games, and they yeah. re- re- said, "Oh, all the Splinter Cell games are on." I'm like, "Fuck you!" You know, <laughs> all the Splinter Cell games are on in 4K and stuff. And then like, oh, here's the last ones, and it's like too human. <laughs> Mm. So that's happening, well, Sean. And it's mate, free. It's, it's free. free to download. It's not. A, it's not as shit as you've definitely heard it is. <laughs> I, oh. I think it's all right. I mean, I, I know mean, you have it on yeah. Xbox, Sean, but you should. You should still go to Xbox Store and like buy it or. or I should get yeah, a free I purchase. Need, I need to it. play it in 4K. Yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I don't know. I, I, actually, I don't know if that was like an enhanced for Xbox One one. Ah, uh, okay. Th- there's a difference. Like the, the Spencer yeah. games, I think they're all like the enhanced ones, so they're 4K and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And also, I think they must have like. Did it say Banjo Kazooie and a lot of like the rare replay thing? Am I thinking right? Yeah, that's all. Yeah, so that's all been. Yeah, they're doing enhanced. All that's like four K so. enhanced, but this I'm, I'm not sure. But in either way, it's backwards compatible. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can play it on Xbox One. I mean, you haven't got one, but uh, great. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna buy one now. Yeah, but uh, there was shock in the chat, um, and everyone of course <laughs> thought of you, Sean. Um, <laughs> after this was kind of funny game showcase. Now that basically, well, uh, Matt, we've got to talk about this. Go on. Why is this in here? Because it was a it was a show. Yeah, but why? Why have you put this in here? We we didn't make predictions for this because obviously that would be crazy. We didn't make predictions for Inside Xbox or EA. Yeah, but why is this on here? Is it is an like, is an E three show? Where there's new games announced. Yeah, but I don't understand. Like, why? It, it's not a publisher though, is it? It's just it's a, it's a rival. If yeah, anything, but it's still, uh, and it's uh, it's still an E three show where stuff got announced. I think it's yeah, worth. It's like, I, I'm keen to hear about it. Certainly. 
I mean, there's also upload well, VR, which they, they had like a VR, like you know, like a press conference. Um, I wouldn't call kind so of why, funny why rival. That's out... like us saying we're rival to IGN. It's a bit little different. Well, yeah, it's it's true. But it's just, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why you got this obsession with kind of funny. Well, I, do, I really because don't. they had a really it's, awesome like yeah. showcase. Uh, I guess when was it? Last year, sometime. And it's basically like now the home. It seems for like indie announcements, and uh, I presume we didn't watch it then, James. Of course not. It's just, I, <laughs> just all right. Well, you can go. I, through I'm not going to go through all because I had sixty odd games in forty odd minutes. But basically, exactly. Yeah, that's why I don't. Oh, see I'll the, just give us uh, the highlights. Go on. Uh, but basically, there's a game called Blood Roots, which really feels like guacamole style combat, but it's top down. Mm. There's actually a demo right now. Um, okay. I'm not going to go through all these because there are actually fuckloads. But there, there are yep. lots and lots of highlights and. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, if anyone listening is into indie games, you should definitely watch the showcase. I thought it was fantastic. But cool. there's like there's so many games out in such a short space of time, it's hard to really like lock it down. But uh yeah, yeah. Oh, there's one that's like called Warborn, it's like a mecha advance wars. Or, okay. Or like um war groove style thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna go for every one, James, but um Oh, there's one called like oh, I don't know how to pronounce this super liminal and basically it's like a mm-hmm. crazy perspective game whereby it's like a 3d environment almost like portal like and you see mm-hmm. a, a huge chair in the background but as you get closer actually the chair is small and it, right. there's loads of crazy puzzles like that where like also based on the angle is it like escher style paintings yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. and like mm-hmm. yeah it, it looks it looks really really awesome but uh yeah there's loads cool. of games i'm not gonna go for the whole lot because uh Way too many to mention, but but I know for a fact you'll love it, Sean. I mean, cool. James, nice it, it, now that's a legit E three conference. Why would we not like look into it and watch it? Because it's not like one of the massive like publishers or anything like that, is it? I mean, you've got to draw the line somewhere. I mean, PC Gaming Show, we, we looked at that. Yeah, well, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, but I didn't want to. No intention of doing. I'm that. just interested in watching so it all E three stuff. And I mean, and, hang and... on. I mean, so you, so James, you were telling me off for watching the Bungie thing. So that counts, does it? But yeah, does like, Bungie but a show a show where they actually Bung- allow Bungie's announce a loads of new sure. games. Bungie isn't no, a bu- Bungie's a big publisher. <laughs> They're an indie studio, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but shut up! I'm trying to download Two Human, <laughs> um, but the page isn't loading. Are we, are we, too are many we people trying to get it. Too much bandwidth by talking loudly. Is that was. <laughs> yeah. No, there's too many people trying to download it. That's what's oh, going okay. on. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. So, yeah. Is this trying to download In it? We're doing a C three show, James. Yeah, no wonder Discord's fucking up so bad. Anyway, go on, let's get on to Square Enix. Uh, oh, yeah, we're on Square Enix now. I scrolled up too far. Square Enix. So this was um, 2 o'clock I mean, in the morning last night. This won't take long, right? Um, actually, well, actually... Well, did, you say well, that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it'd been a long old day, but I was like, absolutely knackered, but fuck it. You know, at this point, I was like, <laughs> sort of, sort of like, you know... I shouldn't have started like, drinking beer earlier. I think that sort of didn't help. <laughs> Square Enix opens up with the Final Fantasy VII remake. Of course. And as someone myself who didn't play FF7, never really, I played a little bit of Final Fantasy VIII. You know, I don't really understand. It looked fucking brilliant. It looked yeah. amazing, and I have right, no cool. real affinity with that series at all. Mm-hmm. Um, it just looked absolutely excellent. They had like a gameplay demo where they're fighting a boss, and and obviously everyone's going mad when certain characters are shown in the cutscenes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it looked absolutely excellent. What What do you think, James? Yeah, I mean. Like, I mean, this Final Fantasy VII is a game that, as I've said before, I've tried to play about three or four times and usually give up after about 15 hours. Yep. But this looked amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, I was genuinely shocked by this, by how good this looked. Because it's it, they've done this, like, mixture of, um, you know, of, like, a sort of, like, real-time attacks, but then also you can, you know, do, like, you know, strat- the strategic ones okay. as well, where you can, like, you know, choose from the menu and everything. And it just looks so good. Cool. It's um yeah good the I mean yeah especially like the demos and everything they showed I mean it was long that it went on for quite a long time yeah. but I was pretty transfixed the whole time this is one of the this is also one of the best things I've seen at E3 it really it, okay it's gone cool. from something that I had no interest in to be honest to something that I probably will want to buy like, as soon as it comes mm-hmm. out because it just looks really like quality cool. yeah same yeah. here I, like I said I, I don't really care for Final Fantasy but this was definitely one of the best things I saw. It just, it, I was also absolutely transfixed. It just looked absolutely class. I mean, I don't know if I, I'm going to play like a 120 hour game or whatever it is, but um, mm. but it looks fucking brilliant. Um, awesome. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, oh, yeah. So it, they've announced it comes out on the 3rd of March 2020. Right. What they didn't confirm was if it's episodic. So. Right. <laughs> they said out third of third of March 2020. Um, there was like a show, maybe like a picture at the show, or maybe afterwards. So like, here's the um, 
Here is the collector's edition. It's also not really expensive, but you get like a model of clouds and stuff. On that one, I think they said it's like two discs or or something, or disc one of two. And then on another right. picture, it said one disc, and no one's no one is really c- clear or sure about whether it's episodic <laughs> or what. I mean, you would assume right. it is, but yeah. It wasn't it's Final Fantasy. It's like I mean, they said the other day, like they've I've just because I've just been reading earlier that they said that not even Square Enix at the moment knows how many parts it's going to be split into, <laughs> which is odd. I mean, but yeah, they said they don't know yet. Okay, yeah, interesting. Uh, but something is coming out on the third of March next year. We know that much. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the, no, the first the first part there's going to be just like Midgar. Like it's that it's that part they're going to release first, and then there'll be more later, hopefully. Okay. So so that's that's what that's the opening section of the game, is it? Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, do you remember how many hours that was in the first game, or is that quite a sizable no, chunk? Or? No idea. It was, yeah, big enough. But yeah. Mm. I mean, but, but basically, people will go mad for it uh, just because mm-hmm. it's Final Fantasy and it does look generally banging. Um, yeah, cool. The Life is Strange trailer, they had like, it was like Life is Strange trailer for season two in general. Um, right. And they had like, it was a video basically showing like segments from each of the episodes so far with like streamers mm-hmm. reacting to parts of the game. <laughs> and they're like, have that clip Dave sent us with the sad, guy reacting sadly to not. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have uh, didn't have us either uh, but yeah it's basically like people going oh my god I can't believe it and like mushroom and yeah. other stuff and like oh he's done what you know it's the same sort of thing uh, <laughs> I wrote here should have taken our audio but they didn't yeah um, <laughs> Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is getting remastered oh yeah I think we yeah this was already oh, announced was this not right? news? yeah okay. so this was yeah because this, this is coming to the Switch isn't it yeah what well, yeah it's coming um, on iOS Android Switch and PS4 yeah I'm, I'm up for that that's yeah. a good game. Um, Octopath Traveler's coming out on Steam. I think we knew it anyway. Last oh, yeah. Remnant Remastered, available now on Switch. Great. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, that That's coming out. Dragon Quest Eleven on Switch is available. Blah, blah, blah. It's a massive indie montage. There's mm-hmm. Battalion 1944 stuff. No one cares. <laughs> Square Enix Music's now available on Spotify. No one cares. Um, <laughs> oh, oh no, there's they a do. You know what people and, and people are like and the, Apple music. Oh, yeah, and Apple music and some loads of other things okay, you never yeah. heard of in your life. No, yeah, but people go nuts for JRPG music and yeah, yeah. Well, it's now available. That's a, that's and a big deal. There was a Kingdom Hearts three trailer. Fucking it, hell! Yes, thank God. Go on. <laughs> Thank what, God. DLC? I mean, ju- just when we thought it was safe to go back on E3, <laughs> uh, just like previous ones, the sound was weird. There was, really? <laughs> yeah, it was text on the screen with like mm-hmm. basically like subtitles, but there were big stylized text over the entire screen and weird mm-hmm. sounds and not actually like the <laughs> sound from the people's characters' voices. It was weird. <laughs> Once Amazing. again, um, there's a DLC coming out this winter called Remind. Thank God. Yeah. They need Just to add more to the to story. It's not. I know. It's too concise. There's Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. <laughs> um, there was a big Final Fantasy 14 section about Shadowbringers, a new DLC. It's out in July. Blah blah blah. Well, the, yeah, because this is one this I mentioned. Point, this is the one that Yoko Taro's worked on. So, oh, okay, right. That, it might be really cool, but I, getting involved in that game just to play it. Nah, yeah. Nothing. At this point, actually, like the things I skipped, like the indie montage, Battalion 1944, mm-hmm. the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, and this, like these trailers were lasting like five minutes each. Ooh. It was getting ridiculous. Like <laughs> people were switching off. I mean, I was like, you know, on my phone doing other stuff. It's just it was get it was so long. Like this Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 14 bit it was went on for ages. Like, what, I mean, but did you watch it today, didn't you, James? This bit. I watched some of it, but then I also didn't watch. I didn't watch it all in massive detail because it it got a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at this point, we've only announced quite a few games, and I've written here we're forty-five minutes in at this point. Forty-five <laughs> minutes, and there had only been like four or five games to- spoken about. Yeah. Oh yeah, it went on for fucking ever. There was no no mention of the Quiet Man this time. Oh no, which was Boy, uh, no Quiet yeah. No Quiet Man too. Yeah. No, at this point, yeah. I also wrote fucking hell. This trailer will still be going when I'm on my deathbed. Um, <laughs> anyway, then they they suddenly changed a new trailer. Thank God, T- Techland, Dying Light Two. We knew about that, but it's out stream. Yeah. It's out spring twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh, Romancing Saga Three. There's a Saga Scarlet Grace of PSP games get remastered. Blah blah blah. Uh, oh, Final Fantasy is back. The uh, mobile game Brave. Oh no, basically there's a game X-Vious. called like Brave yeah. Exvius. There's yeah. a new ver- a new universe from it called War Divisions. Okay. Uh, my comments here are kill me because it's really dragging its heels, <laughs> and this is like free. <laughs> 
this is like three fifteen in the morning at this point. It's like mm-hmm. get a move on. Mm-hmm. Uh, People can fly. They showed their new game called Outriders, which was announced hey. before E three. It looks fantastic. It, again, on a CGI trailer, so it's pretty hard to, to see what's really going on. But it's, it felt sort of Mad Max ish. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's fighting all sorts of creatures. Like the lead female, the female lead had like shaved heads and like dark makeup around the eyes. It was very sort mm-hmm. of, um, you know, um, very Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, comes yeah. out yeah. Um, summer twenty twenty. It looks fantastic. Cool. Uh, did you see that at least, James? That bit? No, I didn't see oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks it looks brilliant. <laughs> Um, then like the people come play like Studio Head comes out and talks about all the weapons and all the weapons look really organic like they they almost look mm-hmm. like trees or plants and stuff and yeah they mm-hmm. look class cool uh, we're still going um, Oninaki another RPG is coming whatever Final Fantasy 8 is getting remastered <laughs> now this is the game that people thought they, they lost the code or that they were never going to do it's like the yeah, so like, stepchild yeah so yeah loads of the development assets are supposedly gone forever so yeah, I don't know how they're handling this. Did they talk yeah. about that at all, or just um, basically they say it's a remaster, not a remake? Okay, it's actually out this year. Oh right, shit. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, but how was Square Enix were doing it? It was like in like a, a theatre, an auditorium, and it had mm-hmm. a big old screen on stage, and on that screen was loads of different photo frames, each of which had a different colour in. And what right. it would do is the video would go from one photo frame, maybe have blue, like purple smoke, and that was something that mm-hmm. like dissipate, and it would like show the trailer or the game and so right. for it, obviously at this point we we're waiting for Avengers because yeah. we knew it was going to be announced or shown off and we were like yeah, yeah. this is it and it was like the trailer would start and it was like maybe it could be Avengers and it wasn't and every time we're like please <laughs> let this be Avengers like no it's another Final <laughs> Fantasy remake I was like this is, uh, this is it I swear to god no it's like people can fly game um <laughs> Yeah, people are getting like, this is ridiculous. Like, when's the thing going to end? And sh- we haven't had Avengers yet. And people are like, yeah. how noise colors of the, the photo frames? They're like the Infinity Stones. It's Anyway, <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII uh, happened and the Avengers came. The <laughs> Avengers thing started. Um, okay. So you've seen this bit, haven't you, James, at least, right? Yeah, I've seen this, yeah. So yeah. it's an in-game trailer at this point. It looks in-game. could be rent, could be rendered, it's hard to say, but it looks great. Mm-hmm. It's Avengers Day. People are celebrating. And then basically the Golden Gate Bridge blows up. Um, nice. And basically what happens is uh, some bad guys try to steal the special helicopter that has a special energy source. And it results <laughs> in a tragedy. It kicks off. Captain America <laughs> dies. And Whoa. the Avengers are exiled. And then five years later, they reassemble to defeat a powerful enemy. Uh, that's the general gist of it. Okay. Um, yeah. In terms of the characters, it's Crystal, Di- Crystal Dynamics' interpretation of the characters. So when right, I first so started watching this, I was like, films, yeah. that looks nothing like um, <laughs> Chris Evans. That looks nothing yeah. like, you know, any of the people. Um, so it's like, it like, feels very different. I think that like Iron Man... No, one of them's got like a weird See, beard, that- isn't he? <laughs> Yeah, see, that was some of the feed- like some of the feedback. People were kind of disappointed with that. Like they were like, "Oh, it looks, it's not what I imagined," and everything. Mm. I mean, I see. I'm not really massively into like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so yeah. I, that didn't bother me at mm. all. Like I just thought, "Yeah, okay, they look fine. It's you know, it looks okay." But the the thing that I was more concerned about was, I mean, there was no detail from this at all. Like we don't, we know more about what it is now, but from the from the cutscenes and everything, you wouldn't have had any idea what kind of game it is, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, in the trailer, it's um, uh, it, you, you see Thor, Hulk, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America. And after, like, their special helicopter gets nicked, or it's, like, energy source, it basically kicks off and suddenly, like... It, I, I think it might have cut to gameplay, but it's very hard to say. It's, like, it suddenly would cut to each of the characters, and they were, like, essentially killing army men for literally no reason. I don't quite know why the army was shooting them or they were killing them. Anyway, it's basically just loads of combat, and all these, you know, Hulk and everyone were basically, you know killing, injuring all these army people for, for a reason, What we're not quite sure why. Um, and yeah, in terms of gameplay, they didn't say what it was at all. They, they said, how what oh. I've written down, they said it was a, a cinematic adventure. Okay. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and it's only afterwards, and we'll, we'll skip to it now, but it's only afterwards we sort of learn it's all these things. It's a cinematic character-based game. Right. It's single-player and cooperative gameplay Mm-hmm. And it's games as a service, right? All of the, it's all of those, it's all of those things. Okay. No, it's yeah, it's it's like everything, basically. I mean, apart from I mean, we because won't have because we talked it, about it, won't it have so, random loot boxes. Oh yeah, like, right, yeah, they okay. said that. So. No random loot boxes, no pain to win scenarios, and obviously everyone went mad because they're just saying. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. 
They said no random loot boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Will there be regular That's a good loot point. boxes? <laughs> yes. There's no random and no pay to win scenarios. I didn't say right. pay. Well, I mean, because, you know, we said, yeah, so this stuff about it maybe being a Destiny type game, like, you could describe Destiny in the same way, right? You like, could, yeah. That, that has a single player campaign and you can play it co op and it's a game as a service. So. Yeah, yeah, it's that weird. Fits. Like in terms of visuals, it like it, it in like they showed like about like, two or three cutscenes, and it looked very Spider Man. I think right in you know just like uh, it, the cutscenes looked fantastic, and it just mm-hmm. had a very similar sort of feel. Yeah. And like Spider Man was excellent, and it was a single player only game, and I loved it for it. It knew what mm-hmm. it was, but this is like it's on, it's they say it's online, it's multiplayer, it's like a growing roster of heroes. They're all free. So I guess you've got other MCU people. Oh, no, sorry, they couldn't actually say MCU. I think there's like right. some agreement yeah. where like it's not the MCU, <laughs> it's their own version. So they never actually said that. Right. Um, but essentially it's, yeah, they get, you'll get other other characters. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, they said it, on PlayStation they'll have like extra benefits and they get early beta. Right. Um, and you can oh. play like gameplay in, in the booth at E3. But yeah, right. I don't know. I left, I left, I, I finished watching and thinking like, what, what is this? It wasn't clear at all and... I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. What it's do you shame. think, James? Just so you weren't, weren't clear on what happened. Well, yeah. It. Yeah, really. I mean, I, I don't really know what I was watching <laughs> was the, the thing from it. It was just like, okay, it's uh, they, they that's said, another CGI um, trailer. It's coming out uh, May 15th, 2020. So, again, not far. It's coming out on PS4, yeah. Xbox One, PC, and Stadia. So, wow. Um, yeah. And that wasn't the only game. We actually had a, a bunch of games that stay also and Stadia, which, which is pretty okay. good. It ended with... Um, this other trailer, and it basically shows all the voice actors, like Troy Baker's doing a voice, um, mm-hmm. uh, Nolan North, uh, some other people, uh, and basically it's all them like sat on the couch talking about them being the characters and how they're excited to be the characters, and uh, and what it means, and uh, and again they couldn't say MCU, they said that they said, <laughs> oh, it's um it's it's Square's own interpretation from the from the lovable comic book characters. You know, and it's yeah. like they had they had to distinguish themselves from what we've known up to this point. Again, they can say yeah. from the films. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'd be massive, um, and I'm I'm and I'm, I'm sure it'd probably be good actually. Uh, but it's just a yeah, yeah a bit sure. it doesn't sound like the the initial reveal they would have hoped for, I guess. But yeah. I mean, I think ev- everyone went mad because like it's an Avengers game. It had the music. Mm-hmm. It's got all the characters, and it looks like a game where you basically you know smash loads of people and you, you play as your favourite character so everyone went mad for it I haven't actually yeah. seen much of the response post um, post show and seen whatever people are thinking after playing it but uh, mm. yeah no doubt it's going to go it will do crazy in, in numbers no doubt but uh, yeah yeah yeah. but it sounds like yeah it's got a bit of a Destiny sort of online or games of service thing for there but also mm-hmm. single player it feels like it's a bit all over the place but but we'll see we'll see yeah, yeah. alright um We've whizzed through this, but we had the main event. What's that? Yeah, we've got the main event yeah. next. We've whizzed through it, and now we're <laughs> at today's conference, which was Nintendo. Hang on, hang on. You said we whizzed through it. It's two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. This is like this is about like right. We've <laughs> properly whizzed through this. I thought <laughs> I was about to do a four-hour show. I mean, get, there's still time. We've got Nintendo to go through. No, no, no that's fine. Um, <laughs> I know you want to leave early, James, but this is anyway. Today at five o'clock, <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> happened. Um, yeah. I mean, do you want to go through this, James? Like. Yeah, can I? Yeah, can I okay, Please so do. yeah, I mean, I, I was. This is the one that I was most looking forward to, like out of the lot. And I wasn't. I didn't have massive expectations because you know that they. It's never going to be what you're expecting or what you would what you'd want it to be. Yeah. So there was just a couple of things I was hoping to yeah. see. Like obviously, Animal Crossing was the big one for me, and then you know, just some and some. I, I was really hoping they'd have some of those kind of like. Um, you know, this is what you know. This is available now. Mm-hmm. You know, to download or whatever that kind of yeah. thing. So, I mean, they started off with Smash Brothers. Fuck's sake! Um, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Back. That that was their opening their opening video, which was Smash Brothers. Couldn't believe where, it. Like when uh, the trailer started, like, hang on, what is this? What? Oh, oh my god, it isn't. Oh, it is. It is. It's it's Smash Brothers again. And I mean, as people in the chat were saying, it's like you know, it's oh, it's you know, this is their biggest game and everything. It's like, well, yeah, fine, but it came out last year, and you know, why, why, yeah, why is this again? Boring, why is this happening again? Yeah. And so they there's a Dragon's Quest Eleven crossover um, right. that's coming, and yeah, you know, there's different characters from that, and that that's it basically. Brilliant. I mean, it's just just they've added more characters. You know, that is the Hooray. thing. That's the uh, the main thing. And then they followed that with, I mean, Dragon's Quest is coming to Switch as well. Yeah. It's the um, it's Dragon's, just Dragon's Quest Eleven. Quest, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 coming. Um, then they introduced Bowser, 
um, which was oh, nice yeah. because they used they did that thing where it was like um, you know they they introduced you know a, a sort of a cartoon version of him, mm-hmm. but it, it wasn't. It was then the you know Doug Bowser came on and yeah. said, "Oh, I think you want me." Actually, mm-hmm. it was it was yeah, good. It, it, like, really it, it well was done, done here. Yeah, yeah it's like oh here's Bowser, yeah. and he's like you know he's like uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was a little. It's a great little start for old Doug Bowser. I loved it. Yeah, it was <clears> it was nice. <throat> and then and then they moved on to the first sort of proper sort of big game, which was Luigi's Mansion Three. All right. Yeah, so this time it's set in a haunted hotel. Right. Uh, there's tons of uh, sort of uh, characters in it, and they've got like the, the the vacuum's got these new abilities. So aside from just like sucking things, you can also like sort of suck things and sort of slam them on the ground as mm-hmm. well. There's like a suction shot, and they've got this other thing which is called is it is it yeah, Gooigi? Gooigi, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. So this is like a ca- basically you can sort of split between the two characters, and like Gooigi can like sort of go through bars and things like that. Mm. So I think it's going to be obviously for like solving sort of simple puzzles yeah yeah i wasn't sure if that was like if it was actual like proper cop like you can have someone else playing with no, you or so. it's just literally yourself split into two and switching between them yeah i think it was just that oh, okay, yeah i don't right. think it was yeah. it, it wasn't it was, it was clear cool. but yeah like but it's that... just some weird like green goo version of yourself which you can do different things yeah but that's coming 2019 so that's i was, nice. I was surprised that's like one they didn't give us like an actual release date it's like halfway through the year it's out this year be... i mean It'd be close to Christmas, won't it? Probably. I guess yeah, it will be. Yeah. Yeah. If it's, 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 it's that sooner, you'd expect a date, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose today, yeah. anyway, given we're almost halfway through the year. It's like, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, it looked wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, it looks, looks, cool. looks really good, actually. I, mean, I don't right. actually remember playing yeah. any of the previous ones, but uh, the fact no, it's in like, a big old uh, hotel looks cool. Yeah, I played a bit of the second, and there's just a lot of text to get through that I found a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, too much reading. Yeah, I hate it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it was it was clearly like really good. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh no, I like the first one because I got that with my GameCube. I see. I never played the first one. one of those. Uh, it was good. Um, okay, and then they had a trailer for Dark Crystal, which is a Netflix series. Oh, is this the, the is, series then, of the film? Yeah? yeah. 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 And then there's like a game as well, right. which is like a turn-based strategy kind oh, of thing. It okay. looks like. Did they say he was making Fine. it? No, nope. oh, brilliant. Well, they probably did, but I wasn't playing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but, but, but um, when they had like great Netflix, I was like, oh my god, they're going to announce Netflix for Switch, uh, and then they're yeah. like, because because mm. the Dark Crystal trailer came out last week or the week before for the actual right. TV show, yeah. and I'm like, oh wow, okay, but why are they showing this? But yeah, then it looks like a sort of turn based. Is it called? Like, are they called Four X Games, or is that Civ specifically? I think it's Civ specifically. Okay. Well, it's one of the, yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. A, looks like a turn based strategy game. Yeah, but no, okay, and then. They they did uh, Legends of Zelda: Link's Awakening. All oh, right. So this was oh, the, yeah the, the cool this, remake one. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it looks so good, Sean. This, it looks so yeah. good, Sean. This this looked this was so nice, <laughs> like really, really like they they showed. I mean, it had like the music as well. Obviously, mm-hmm. you know, like sort of you know like remix and everything. Yeah. But they also have added this other feature, which is like create a dungeon mode, right? Where you can like collect bits along your journey, yeah. and then you can then like sort of fit them together and create your own sort of dungeons. It's like <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like mini Zelda maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah I, thing, I think basically cool. it implied, like, as you go to different dungeons in the game, you'll maybe pick up, like, different tiles or different styles of dungeon. Yeah. And yeah. those can all be, you know, mixed together to create your own dungeons, I guess. It, yeah, it looked fantastic. And it felt like, oh, maybe it's like on the way to them doing a Zelda maker, which has been rumored mm-hmm. or maybe just wanted from people. But yeah, I yeah, think this yeah. game looks amazing. When I first saw the style last time when it was first announced, I wasn't, like, I wasn't blown away. I was like, oh, okay, it looks. It, I wasn't blown away from the style, but it just looked amazing today. And I, maybe I'm used to it, but it just I cannot wait. It just looks so good. The music cool. was brilliant. Oh, I'm so pumped, yeah. Wicked. Yeah, I mean, as I was saying before, I mean, this is the first Zelda game I played was like the one on the Game yeah. Boy. And yeah, same here, I yeah. cannot wait for this. And, mm. and also it's coming soon. It's September 20th. Oh, shit. It's not uh, yeah. year, which is Wicked. soon. Yeah, that, so that, that's that, good. that was sadly leaked like a few hours before. From thinking, like, there's an oh, Amazon page that went live and it was deleted and... Yeah, so we knew it'd be this year, but yeah, I, I I thought that'd be much much further away, but uh, yeah. pretty cool as out, okay. you know, back into the summer. Cool. Then we moved into some other stuff where we had. There's Trials of Manor is coming. This is like early 2020. Right. As in, so oh, as in, as in the, the Manor series. Yes. Okay. Yeah, people were getting psyched because it was like um, this game called like Saiken Denset Densetsu. Seiken, yeah, Saiken Densetsu. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the yeah. That's the proper name for the mana series yeah well yeah. also the original three mana games are out now on switch oh shit 
So yeah. So that's nice. There's like there's like a collection like right out now Fuck. as well. So that's good. It's also right, on PS4 the, and Steam. Because so yeah, the out now, third yeah. one is an absolute banger and has never been officially localized as far as I'm aware. So that's that's, no, that's fucking awesome. Wicked. Out out now. Then then we had The Witcher Three. Like I mean that's been is like, that real? Know, rumored for a long time. It is real. Yeah. It's happening. Shit. Yeah. Okay. And it's like a it's like the you know it's sort of built as like you know definitive edition yeah, it's sort got of thing the thing with all the DLC and all that kind of thing. Surely yeah, it's and that's gonna... coming 2019. Was there footage of it? No. Yeah, and it looked good. It, that's like, the it thing, really right? Good. It looked good. Last week or the week before, there was like screenshots, and now I mm. assume they were actually fake because it looks like a shitty mobile game. And I was like, okay, I assume, <laughs> yeah. I assume what what happened is I didn't really look into it, but I saw some screenshots. I guess they probably like went on their PC and put like the low settings down and said these. Are, yeah, these yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't like these are switched screen, screenshots, but that was like some of the tweets I saw. But yeah, no, it looks actually yeah. really good actually from the screenshots wow. and video. Okay. I've seen. I mean, unless this, they were like showing the PS4 version or whatever, and then you know, you yeah, know, yeah, how they used to do that with Spectrum games. Yeah. It's like <laughs> maybe it's the, yeah, it's the Commodore 64 version. And, uh, yeah, 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 Witcher Three on Switch. That, um, you know, I mean, I started Jesus. Witcher Three when I got it when I got my X because it was like an enhanced Rex game. Yeah. Um, uh, and obviously, when that got announced, everyone's like, "Well, it's one of the best games of all time. We should play it." Yep. But, uh, yep. Pretty much. You, how much it's... have you played, Sean? Uh, so I've played. Uh, all of the main campaign and the first DLC, but I never finished uh, Blood and Wine, the last one, um, which I really need to do because it's yeah, it's fucking stunning. It's such a good game. Um, How about yeah, you, James? Shit. You haven't played it before, have you? I've never you played it. Oh, mate, I mean, mate, I'm, I'm very yeah. I mean, I know it's one of those games that I'm sure that I will really like if yeah. I play. But I've yeah, it's just I such just, a smart game in that it's a game where you're like oh you're a guy who slays monsters and it's like a medieval setting cool that must mean that you save the day and fix everything it's like no mate there's a war on like you're fucking <laughs> like largely useless like <laughs> like it's the like the whole setting is that yeah there's this massive war has taken place and and you as a slayer of monsters are kind of like it's just your job you're not really a, mm-hmm. a hero, but you're not. You like you don't have to be a dick about it either. But you basically, yeah, you're just like a mercenary who happens to kill monsters, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a really refreshing take on like just the the fantasy RPG in general. Um, and like nothing has topped it since. So yeah, definitely well worth a go. Yeah, I think I only play like yeah. ten hours. Like I think about that, and I, I really enjoy mm. what I played. But it's just other games came out. But like I love the fact yeah. that yeah, you were built as a hero, and I felt I was going to be the hero. But then actually, everyone's quite unsure of you because you're a witcher, and yeah, yeah, like you weren't. Yeah. Like, when I went to like, some pubs and stuff, they were like, you know, don't don't cause trouble, and yeah, yeah then yeah, trouble happens, totally. and they sort of blame on you because you're a witcher. You'll probably do it anyway, but. Yeah, yeah, I did. I love what I play, but just you know, other games came out and I stopped playing. But mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I, if, if anything, I'm I'm jealous because obviously there's no way I would start again on Switch, um, having done most of it already. But yeah, like if you've not put much time into it yet, anyway, like yeah, the Switch yeah. version will be fucking amazing. I know. I know. Do you I'll think? Play more do you think? Yeah. Do you think it? But is it the kind of game that would it be worth me playing it on like a? bigger console or whatever i mean maybe or should, or but then as matt says you're much more likely to find the time on switch so swings mm-hmm. and roundabouts it does look stunning on x it like yeah, I, 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 when i i got that because yeah. they're like oh if, you know it this is an old game but it's enhanced and it looks fucking amazing um yeah in 4k and stuff but but That's yeah I, 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 I know for a fact yeah. i'll just get probably way more time playing on switch so yeah i, I might look i mean I, I haven't looked at what the cost is but uh mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. okay and then See this okay. The next game they showed off was because they did Fire Emblem Heroes, like yep. sorry, Fire Emblem Three Houses rather. Yep. And I was surprised by this because I mean I thought this this was going to be like a much bigger part of the of the direct, yep. but it wasn't. It was quite short. I mean yep. they just showed a trailer and then, but it's out really soon. I mean it's like July twenty sixth, oh, okay. so yeah, really soon. Yeah, so, I'm definitely cool. gonna get that. I mean I love the mobile one. I'll see what it's like. I mean yeah, have they always like reviewed really really well the Fire Emblem games? Yeah, yeah. Uh, generally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, they've always been pretty fucking excellent. I mean, yeah, Awakening is is the one, isn't it? Uh-huh. Is Awakening the one that's in two parts on the 3DS? No, it was no, on 3DS. That was the one just, that came up. Yeah, to. just one game. What was the one that's in two parts and you could play either side or? So that was Birthright and Conquest, wasn't it? Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. 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 But yeah, Awakening is amazing. Yeah. It was such a yeah. good game. I, I can't wait for this. Okay. I, I, I mean, mm. having not even seen what console version of these games are like. Uh, just enjoying what I played on the mobile. I'm I'm excited to see what's like like a, a proper yeah, console yeah, experience I mean, for Fire Emblem. Yeah, totally. Like if all you've played is the mobile one, this will blow your tits off. Are you too like ace. psyched for this to give me like the previous ones or? You... Yeah, man. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then they did a weird segment which was about Resident Very Evil. Very right. weird. Okay. I don't know where this yeah. was going, really. <laughs> so they had this so they had this couple going into like a haunted house to like play a game of Resident Evil. And they showed like Re- you know, like Resident Evil remake. Yeah. And then they were like, "Oh, this is out on Switch," and everyone was like, "That's isn't that already yeah, yeah, out on Switch?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they did that, and then they just said, "But there's two more Resident Evil games coming," and they just said five and six are coming at the end of this year. Oh, and the ones, uh, the ones you know, no one really cares about. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> how like are they re-releasing the remake?" Because like, why? And it's like really elaborate, like them like running into a scary house, and like they were like getting freaked out by playing the game, and also seeing what's over their shoulder, and then <laughs> they like. In the game, they would they did a bit where well they're playing as Chris, but it's like running through down the hallway and the dogs jump through the door, or jump through the window, and they're like, oh my god, yeah. and then they're like, oh, but also five and six are coming. <laughs> it's like why not show <laughs> yeah. five and six at the beginning? <laughs> yeah, well, probably because they're not great, are they? They're not good. I games. mean, five, like five and six. I, I think five gets an unfair amount of shit because it's it not very it wasn't show. four, like it wasn't a suitable follow up to four because what you know what could be. Um, but it, and six isn't like a, a third of six is pretty good, and the rest is shit. Was the, <laughs> the general yeah. consensus? I mean, I, I didn't like five because of the QTEs. Yeah, they, they I mean, were I shit, and the, the anyway. forced co-op stuff. Yeah, like yeah. Nah. But um, yeah, no, I don't think anyone's really bothered about them coming to Switch, are they? Okay, and I mean, this is where we start to get into a bit of a lull. Okay, like with the with the stuff because mm-hmm. we've got so they did no more Heroes three, right? Um. That's happening, yeah. and they had like, I don't know that was it. it it's really got Gundams in it. If you're okay, yeah, yeah. do I do oh, like I mean, a I Gundam? I haven't played the first two, but I are they even well loved games? Like they are willfully awkward and incredibly strange. Um, so obviously they've got a big, they've got a fan yeah. base of people that think they're amazing, but then but yeah, yeah your mileage may vary. Not yeah. bothered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then and then they showed something which. As Matt said, I mean, it looked ass. <laughs> like basically, which was they because sh- this was okay when they showed this. Yeah. Sean, people in, in our stream were just saying like, "Is there something wrong with our stream? Like, has the quality <laughs> yeah, like, people thought the quality like, of it, the stream was like fucking up. It looks so bad. Right. Okay. Yeah, like they thought it had gone down to like two forty p or something like that. So this was um, Contra Rogue Core. Okay. Okay. So it's a Contra yeah, yeah. game, but it doesn't look like a Contra right. game at all. Like it's it's got the contra name, but that's it really. I mean, it, it was a. How would you describe it, Matt? It was I like think sort early of, was it top 3D down, kind PS One. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks so yeah, like, so so bad. It's like this isn't even like a stylish bad. It's just horrendous. <laughs> yeah, really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's it. It really was like why why are they showing this? It it looks really that's terrible. Strange. But there is a. There is a Contra collection coming up. Okay. Though, so that's nice, yeah, which yeah. had like 15 games, so that's all right. Then they showed uh, Damon X Machina. Oh, yeah. Um, that's coming out 13th of September. Cool. So that's Are you still excited about that soon, Sean? You played the um, demo. Yeah, I'm very movie. excited about that, yeah. Well up for it. Okay. And then this was, I mean, Matt was excited about this. Oh, I almost this, thought and... I fell out of my seat when I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was a bit of a shock. Um, Panzer Dragoon. Oh, shit. What, yeah. a new one or a yeah. re- Re- redoing. Well, a new one, yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's just called Panzer Dragoon, as far as we're aware. It's out this winter. Reboot. Okay. I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, well, that looks like Panzer Dragoon stuff. And yeah, the logo comes up. It's like, Panzer Dragoon! <laughs> it's back! <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. But it was weird, because it was all done in such a low-key way. You know, it was just <laughs> like... Because you'd think it was, you know, it's it's you know, it's got a history that, and um, yeah. yeah, it was just like oh, I guess it's got, got a history. Got I mean, like obviously Saga's on the Saturn, and I so said maybe it's not like maybe. I mean, I don't know how many people actually know about it. Maybe it's not that big, but I was like, I can't pass it again. What? I couldn't believe it. I was moving and hollering in my room. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Not fair, dude. So that is then cool. We had a, then we had a Pokemon Yay! section. Yay! Um, Despite the fact that we'd already had like you know the the Pokemon show and all that kind of thing earlier and that there still had to be a Pokemon yep. section, mercifully it was quite brief. Mm-hmm. Um, they just talked about you know Sword and Shield again and how it was coming yep. out, the Pokeball and how you could use that you know with that kind mm-hmm. of stuff, and then so that was that was over and then they moved into uh, Astral Chain. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, which continues to look cool. good. 
Good. And uh, but that's also August thirtieth. Yeah, that's out fairly is, relatively um, soon, isn't it? Because I always found that weird. Because yeah. when they first announced it, it then appeared on the eShop and had a release date, and I was like, what "The fuck, it's a bit." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it still looks absolutely and fantastic. It, I can't wait for that. Cool, it could. And it's. I mean, there's so much. There is quite a lot of stuff coming out mm-hmm. like, over the next couple of yeah, months. Yeah, yeah. That's like looks like quality, which is yeah. good. Uh, then they showed Empire of Sin, which right. is uh, John Romero's. Oh game. shit! Oh, is it? Okay, right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a yeah, it's sort of mafia X. It looked like it wasn't. It's, it's, a, it's a mafia game, yeah. definitely. But I think it was like an yeah. XCOM style game. It's a. It looked like a strategy yeah, yeah, okay. game, but uh, oh, I didn't know it was John nice Romero. Visual style. Okay. Yeah, then it was uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three was next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, don't, do yeah, no, I I do, but I also would appreciate there's probably nothing to say about it. So <laughs> not really. No, I mean it's it's coming July nineteenth. So Great. again, also soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. Then we had a very brief segment on uh, Cadence of Hyrule. Um, oh yeah, just yeah, that that's I mean that's out in two days time. Oh, sure. Okay, it's uh, yeah, that's oh, isn't like, out today, isn't it? Is it not out today? No, it's not okay. out today. No, it's it's in but two it's days. Only like, so. It's only like twenty two pounds, so okay. it's not full price release, which is yeah. decent. Yeah, cool. Yeah. At this point I was starting to get nervous. Yeah. Um because we only had like less than ten minutes left by this <laughs> point and I'm just thinking, this isn't looking good. You know, we're we're you know, I mean obviously the stuff that we've seen already, this is all good good yeah. stuff, you know, it's it's nice to have yeah. all this. But there's no like big hitters. Yeah. We're not seeing there's no like Mario games, there's mm-hmm. no anything like mm-hmm. that. So I was getting no, a bit, no Animal bit Crossing crucially, yet. yeah. Well yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, it was about ten minutes to go at this point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was about, about ten minutes to go at this point and then so I was thinking, oh, what's, what's going to happen here? And then the next game is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Oh, fucking hell. But how about how, how, yeah. did, 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 Didn't the previous one do really well and wasn't no, it good? They, yeah, they, they all, yeah, they all they, shit. They may do well, yeah. but... Oh, yeah, they shit, are they? I thought, really... I thought they were like... No, no, I, I said, they, I said they all shift. Oh, okay. Right. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, they're not they're not brilliant, are they? It's not something you're going to put down like a, a hefty pre-order for. No, but it's, yeah. a, it's a I mean, Sega just... like athletics game, right? For me, it's all like athlete kings or you know like uh, winter heat or no, I don't think that. Well, yeah, like the, the, like the old Saturn athletic games, which were amazing. Um, <laughs> I had so it sounds like you played the previous ones and they're not good. Is that what you're saying, or they're just basic? Was that was that a reference to the uh, the uh, film? No, I'm just saying like is the <laughs> game are, are these games basic or are they <laughs> worth playing? I don't know. I've never played one. Oh, are you, have you, Sean? Played one? Uh, no, but I've I've only heard bad things. Oh, that's a shame. I heard yeah, it's got, it's got those characters you know and love. Oh, it looks in the right. the first one, apparently, a lot of the games did have a lot of technique with the motion controls, and then in play testing, they're like, "Oh no, everyone just wants to waggle the remote around as hard as they can," so they just <laughs> s- stripped it of any nuance, basically. Um, maybe somebody can write in and tell us why they're good yeah I'm well, sure someone will have a go I thought this looked really good and that's what written in my notes looks really good it's got Yoshi, Knuckles, Robotnik, Bowser and loads of other characters obviously Mario and Sonic is. I thought it looked really good comes out in November uh, I'm keeping an eye on it right. well either way we were edging closer to yeah, the end of the yeah at this point it's five minutes to go <laughs> <laughs> and James is, <laughs> James is basically having a meltdown in the chat at this point yeah. and then we got Animal Crossing oh shit it happens. Yeah. So this, yeah. So they showed. I mean, they started it off with like a sort of an airline thing of like you know your it's like Nook, Nook Travel or something mm-hmm. like that that was like going to a desert island, <laughs> and then they just showed like yeah like the beginning of Animal Crossing right. like you know having your like your tent yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like you know sort of building you know starting to like uh you know cut cut down trees mm-hmm. and how you could craft stuff as yeah. well you know that kind of thing and. They also show, I mean, it has multiplayer as well, cool. like eight players at cool. the same time, which is which is pretty yep. good. Getting quite excited by this mm-hmm. point. I mean, it looked really, it, it looks so good, mm-hmm. Sean. Like, as in, he, like, I mean, even like David was like, we were talking to him about it, and he's like not into Animal uh-huh. Crossing, but he was like, that looks class. <laughs> like, it looks really good. I, I, I mean, I, I know you've read like, the article that was posted about the APN multiplayer, but is there any more detail about exactly what you can do or what that's about, James? No, I've not I've not read anything, anything further about it. But I mean, it looks just like, I mean, it's more Animal Crossing, yeah. but it looks. I mean, fantastic. I love the one when I bought it on GameCube, and when it came on like the limited edition like memory card and stuff. I loved Animal Crossing. I mean, like that's basically why I basically failed my university course. Like, <laughs> I, like my my girlfriend at a time would like leave in the morning, and she'd come back and say, "Please don't tell me you've been getting turnips." And I'm like, <laughs> I, I might have stayed home and doing turnip stuff. I 
I'm like, oh, why at the end? Yeah, it wasn't good, but I was obsessed with that game. Uh, and I loved it on <laughs> DS, uh, and then haven't played like since then. But um, oh, yeah, I, I would love a. I mean, yeah, and, and you know, I've, I've loved games like My Time with Portal and Stardew Valley, mm-hmm. but and I, I would love another Animal Crossing game. This looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. It does, but the only thing is, Sean, mm. is please understand this is not coming out now until ah, next year. For fuck's sake! It's, is this a second this delay, now, by the way? Uh, or the first? This is now. This is now March twentieth, two thousand twenty. For fuck's sake! All right. So by this point, I was, I was fuming because <laughs> it's like because they, they'd made it very clear they were just saying like everything we're showing this is coming out this year. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. thinking, worst case scenario, this is going to be like December this year. Yeah. But then now it's like nearly a oh, would be away. It's such and a it's good just... Christmas game as well. Yeah. Fuckers. Okay, yeah. so is this, yeah. the, like, is this the first delay or the first... What was? Because it feels like it was meant to come out way no, earlier. No, I don't but... think it's... No, no, no. I don't, I don't, this is the first delay, I think. Okay, cool. So, okay. Yeah, it probably won't be the last either. I bet this is going to end up being November 2020 <laughs> is what's going to happen. No, 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 I'm just... Just, I mean, the, 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 they've pushed it as late as they can in a financial year. This like feels yeah. like it's like now or never. <laughs> I mean, obviously yeah, never, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it feels yeah. like, look, we need to get out in this financial year. How late can we push it? It's a real shame it's not out this, this year, but uh, yeah. Mm. But yeah, I mean, at this stage, we don't have any further details about like if you know the changes or whatever there's been, mm-hmm. but there was just this trailer, and it was, but it was nice. Yeah, it, and, yeah, it looks great. I, I was crying by Can't the end wait. of that. Cool. It's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's just kind of a shame. Then we had a highlight reel, oh, yeah. and they we okay. So the highlight reel had like you know like a bunch of games and stuff, mm. but then they had um like Donkey Kong. Who was who was it? There it's was a Donkey Kong, Diddy it Kong, Donkey Kong. Some yeah, other like cranky, yeah. all that kind of thing. <laughs> all the so you're thinking, Okay, that's that's pretty good. And then you see in the in like the background, like a shadow of Banjo Kazooie. Right. Yeah, it is a silhouette of Banjo Kazooie, and like <laughs> the chat was blowing up. Like yeah. I was screaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like you know, there's like there's a banjo game. You know, it's like banjo's yeah. back. Yeah, you know, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. But particularly, also, and, actually, uh, also particularly because like actually early in the week, Xbox said like, hit hit. You know, you need to see this. It says like, Xbox E3 listed had like a massive like schedule of all the conferences. Nintendo was on that list. We're like, like so you know we're, we're expecting huge, huge things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it turns out that it's Banjo Kazooie and Smash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> basically, Sean. Fucking hell. They so did me they, they, exactly they... the way they did James of Animal Crossing. <laughs> exactly the same again. <laughs> yeah, but this time there was no there was no payoff. Yeah, though. Was a... it was just. <laughs> It's just this. Wow. And it's coming in, in fall 2019, you know, like... In I thought exactly how James did. I was like, oh my God, Rare, like, Marks of Rare, Banjo-Kazooie, they're doing a new Banjo-Kazooie. Like, why would they tease this? <laughs> and they flipped it, and I was like, oh my God, they've literally done me. Like, it did James. <laughs> like, it's exactly the same, apart from the fact there's no payoff. I was like, yeah. I'm never trusting yeah. anything Nintendo I mean, show I, ever again. <laughs> I was very suspicious because it, the whole style was like the sort of the Smash kind of visual style. Yeah. Well, it like wasn't when they showed explicitly. This it wasn't like that's obviously Smash. I was just like, it's. it's I, weird, I mean, it obviously, looks... if I watch it back now, it's probably obvious. But I was like, mm. fuck, like the Banjo Kazooie. Oh my, yeah, livid, absolutely livid, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we were just because it was right at the end of the show yeah. now, and so we're thinking, okay, that this is winding mm-hmm. down. And uh, they're going to... I mean, I said in the stream, I was like, okay, so they've started with Smash and they're going to end with Smash. Yeah. Like, I never saw that yeah, coming, yeah, yeah. you know, that they would do yeah. that. Turns out they didn't. They had one more okay. thing. And the one more thing is... Um, there's a new Zelda game uh, coming. Right. So this is a follow-up to Breath of the Wild. Right. And they showed a trailer for it. Okay. And... Yeah, this was pretty amazing, like to be honest, because it's it's it looked to me in the same sort of style as like Majora's Mask, in the sense that this is a darker. Yeah, it definitely version felt darker. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I mean, there was not really a lot of detail. Would you say uh, that? No, I mean, yeah. at this point, I was smashing up my room. I was so excited. <laughs> When I said one yeah. more thing, anyway, already I'm like a half bar. But they're like, is it, like I think I had like maybe in, I'm not sure if it's the music or maybe like someone like the. Uh, Sort of the Zelda sort of like language, or like the, sort of the, the like written. It, it basically felt like, oh, is this a Zelda game? Like, yeah, mm. it was. I was incredibly excited, and yeah, and like you saw characters oh, and they had like dark looking eyes, and it's yeah, very much like a dark vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to watch the trailer again. I haven't actually seen it since the first time, but fucking hell, fuck man. Yeah, I'm surprised they've talked about the sequel to Breath of the Wild this quickly. I thought it'd be like 
you know, we said before because because Breath of the Wild was such a landmark title, it'd be like, look, it's going to be like five years before we see another yeah. one. Because how do you follow that up? But um, no, yeah, if it's an if it's another sort of Majora's Mask style um, twist, then that that that'll be awesome. Oh, it, so, there was so little detail. Like, yeah, and also, yeah. I mean, there was no no announcement for like when it's actually coming out or yeah. anything like that. It was just like this is a new, yeah, you know, a new Zelda yeah, game, yeah. which is yeah, yeah new three Zelda cool. game. In the same sort of universe, I guess, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. as Breath of the Wild, oh, I couldn't believe it. But it, I mean, it went out with a bang, though. I mean, that was that was it was a really good oh, way to end. Yeah, yeah, fantastic that was, end, that was the yeah. end of the show. And it, it's funny because I mean, looking back at what they announced, like all this stuff, it was a really like sort of how do I put this? It was a really sort of like gamer focused mm-hmm. like what they showed here. Like it was all things you know, like Witcher. You know, you've got like. Um, What's it called? Like Astral Chain, all that kind yeah. of thing. There was no like really broad stuff, if mm-hmm. you sort of mean, apart from Smash. Yeah. There was no Mario games, there's nothing like that. But um yeah, it was it was it was good. I mean this I I I'm not sure if I enjoyed this more than the Microsoft one, because the Microsoft one did have a lot of like really, you know, cool mm-hmm. stuff. But this was this all it was all like there's a lot here that's all very deliverable and it's all gonna come like really yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that was that yeah. was good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds all right from Nintendo. Because they have been yeah, very yeah. shit in the past, so <laughs> this sounds like oh, it was way better than yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah. Sean. I mean, I, I was still. I mean, I was worried, <laughs> you know, that there was going to be another section <laughs> on like I know, like they're just going to talk about Pokemon for forty yeah. minutes or something yeah, like yeah. that, you know. But so uh, yeah. yeah, but it's cool. good. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, a, it's a weird E three overall. Like, like, yeah. like even going into this, like, it, um, we're, we're waiting for Nintendo. Like, well, they've. I mean, actually, after the Square Enix, I was like, well, Nintendo have got a chance now to to kill it, you know, absolutely kill it, uh, E3. Yeah. And mm. and I don't, I don't think anyone, like, Microsoft is my favourite one, I would say, out of the mm. conferences. I think yeah. the announcements they made were great. And they, they had loads of things which I think they could have done a lot better. And other, other things yeah. had highlights here and there, but it wasn't, I don't know, maybe actually, like, overall quality was good, but it was mm. nothing truly mind-blowing that elevated I think, it. I, don't I know. mean, also... The you know just the massive as we've said repeatedly over these last three hours, just the constant just like CGI stuff all the mm. time was disappointing. Mm. I feel like that that sort of yeah took the sort of the the edge off things a bit, and also some of those conferences were way too long. Like they could have been significantly shorter. Like especially like Square Enix's one, yeah. you know, it would have been better to have had like shorter shorter ones with stuff like that. It, yeah, it was a bit too long. So in terms of watching them in their entirety, so definitely Microsoft. Yeah, and any of those yeah. it sounds like all the others I'd be better off just doing the highlights. Is that right? Devolver. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, exactly. Devolver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and kind that of funny fun. is like forty minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. Uh, yeah cool. I mean, a lot of the others you can get highlights like Square Enix, and obviously, yeah, yeah like Nintendo. Obviously, yeah. I wouldn't watch like the Bethesda one. It yeah, was just, yeah, Skip that was that. a bit tedious. No, I wouldn't watch like. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we're watching inside Xbox because uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't see having a need to do it. Like, and whereas yeah. like U- Ubisoft and. Bethesda and Square, you can probably get highlights for uh, highlights yeah. on there. So Microsoft definitely watched. Nintendo isn't mm-hmm. that is only like was it forty minutes or so? It's yeah, yeah it's and like minutes, yeah. Uh, kind of funny is like forty odd minutes, twenty twenty four minutes or so from Devolver. So yeah, c- cash mm-hmm. them definitely. Yeah, um, cool. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see what you think about Watch Dogs three because it looks so looks such fun. Yeah, I've, I've a horrible feeling. I'm going to watch the Watch Dogs three one and then buy Watch Dogs two. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, if it's going cheap, I, I might join you. Actually, it's usually. I mean, if you want to, if you want to just go to CEX, it's like six quid. Um, oh, right, it's, okay. it's often on sale on the on PSN store as well. Um, so yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm tempted. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. I mean, I, for the record, I appreciate that. Like, when I, you know, as hard as it was, like keeping away from everything. When I saw like the schedule, the conferences, I was like, "That is a lot for you two to get through and have to report back on in the space of like three days." So, uh, no, oh, I, no, I do really good. appreciate. No, I mean, I, I yeah. had today booked off, thankfully, and that's only because the shows <laughs> on like late, so late last night. I went to bed at, like half four or four o'clock in the morning, right? Um, <laughs> and then uh, I caught up with Bethesda and uh, and mm. Devolver today. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's been it's been great free. And and, and as mm. I said at the beginning, unlike previous years, like now we've still got three days of E three to go. So yeah, it's not yeah, over. Um, else, we're actually putting in here loads more that we aren't able to tell you now because we don't know. But we'll, yeah. yeah, this time next week, actually, we'll probably say, actually, no, this was this and that was that. And yeah, yeah I'm excited for the yeah, next yeah. few days for sure. Yeah, totally. Right, I better get back on the internet then. Yeah, I mean, are, are you are you nervous? Are you a bit like? Do you know? I'm, I'm making it. I'm making a conscious decision not to reinstall Twitter on my phone. I think. 
Um, yeah, I, I said that, and Dave said that, and James Boy said that. I'll give you an hour. Like yeah. well, last year, <laughs> everyone says that, and then they're back on yeah. it again. It's well, like, I, like, yeah, because I've yeah. I've done it before and really liked it. Where I just like basically Twitter was either desktop or tablet, so I was making like a conscious decision to actually read it and do you know. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Like in terms of like what I've missed versus what I haven't. So yeah, like I've not really missed Twitter. Um, the most annoying thing is just not being able to fucking look things up, like, <laughs> oh yeah, um, like well, just like cooking and stuff. Me like, oh, I'll get the recipe. Like, no, can't. I'm got a web browser, and you and you know, and obviously you sort of think, ah, but if I'm just going straight to the BBC Good Food website, it's like no, because as soon as you open Chrome, it's like here's some news stories. Um, so it's just not worth the risk, and like because I'd had like that, so you know, I'd said on the stream like that weekend, um, the first weekend, like I. I was busy with Isaac all weekend anyway. And once I'd made it that far, it was like, well, I'd only be ruining it for myself if I looked anything up at this point. So um, it wasn't too bad, but then it was only four days, whereas you guys did like a fucking week or at least. Yeah. So I mean, was... I, I said this on the last show, I love the internet, but when I had that week off, I was like, mm-hmm. I always didn't want to have to install WhatsApp and Twitter and like <laughs> notifications. Like, as much as yeah. I love that every day and you know, I do Jamie Jewel my time online, and I was like, well, yeah. at this point, Last year, when, you know, and if I was in your shoes, I'm like, oh, just I genuinely just didn't want to, uh, but I yeah. did, and obviously everything's installed, and within like half an hour, yeah. it was also like the choice, like where do I go? It's like <laughs> it was, it was mad. Um, yeah, but uh, no, I mean, I, I think like I know I loved it. I was just like plug it into my veins. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm looking forward to catching up on things, but equally, I think like all groups on WhatsApp are getting muted. Um, because it's been really nice, like you know, my, whenever my phone dings, it means someone has actually messaged me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I <laughs> so, bet. <laughs> but um, yeah, 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 that's also the thing. Like WhatsApp is really shit with all messages. So when you like yeah. turn WhatsApp on and you have like five hundred plus or like a thousand notifications, like mm-hmm. scrolling up to the first one is gonna be a nightmare. So uh, yeah, just, just delete the group so I can start again. Get a whole new yeah, set of friends. Do. I did well because I did leave a couple of groups because it was still. Um, I think, yeah, I think I said this on the stream, like, so I, before, like, because stuff was leaking, but I was sort of keeping off Twitter and, and what have you, but I hadn't officially left the internet yet. Um, I was I was in a couple of WhatsApp groups and people were like, oh, have you seen what's leaked? And I'm like, uh, don't say it. And I didn't want to be that guy who was preventing other people from talking about E3. So I basically left most groups already. Um, so, yeah, I suppose may, maybe I'll, I'll see how I go without asking to be re-added to them and see if I miss them or not. Um I don't know. It's weird. I tell you what, you find out who your fucking mates are as well when you <laughs> when oh, yeah. you actually bothers to message you when you're offline. <laughs> that was that was interesting. I think that, like that's that was the other worry. Is it's like, oh, am I just gonna like vanish now as far as people are concerned? Because I I know I would do the same with other people. Like if someone just stopped, like there are people that if they stopped, you know, tweeting or whatever, I that would be it. I would not communicate with them anymore. You know. Um, yeah 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 it, it, it's it's weird because you're like hey things have been going on and has anyone yeah. missed me yeah it's like why is no one asking where i am but um i mean but, I, 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 i'm being well over really, dramatic because uh, four days you know that's, that's we haven't really touched on it but your leaving the internet stream was incredible but people were oh, loving cheers, it I, I texted you I after uh, <laughs> yeah. to say how good it was and people were like absolutely loving it and uh the, people were um, loving like watching back on youtube and stuff as well the disappearing thing at the end so that like <laughs> so that was like obviously i was just doing like test recordings i was like waving my arms around i was like oh when i like move forwards and backwards so that that um filter that i was using the the vcam thing seems to go off like focus so if something's out of focus it, it gets rid of it so if you're moving like towards or away from the camera it like really fucks with it and it gets really confused and then i realized that if i went all the way to the wall it can't tell what's me and what's wall so it just makes it all invisible so yeah so like right, fuck it i'll just like walk backwards and disappear at the end <laughs> this is great yeah, I, I, it yeah, was brilliant it's, it's I, amazing. Amazing. I mean like <laughs> dave's already used it as a meme for a few things yeah <laughs> so uh and i'm sure he won't awesome. be the last person to do that <laughs> brilliant um but yeah cool right that's that's us then isn't it yeah um matt do you want to do the end bit or um, I'm, all, I'm all confused. I haven't got the dock in front of me. Yeah, what are we doing? What day is it? Um, well, uh, uh, James, are you streaming this week? Uh, yeah, I think oh, I'll see. James is going to start it. his new game. What are you going to do, James? Have... have you decided? Yeah. I have decided, but I think can I? Yeah, can yeah, I leave? yeah, we're going to leave. Okay, yeah, sure. anyway, James will be back Friday night. This Friday night, 
uh, from 9 p.m. on twitch.tv slash the computer game show. Uh, we may promote it before. Otherwise, Friday night, uh, watch and find out what James is streaming. Uh, Sunday night, Actually, no, no, actually, I'm not streaming Sunday because I'm actually going away. So no Whoa. Blub on Sunday, sadly, at all this Sunday. That's two weeks I missed out now. Obviously, last <laughs> week was E3. So no Blub on for me on Sunday, unfortunately, because um, I'm away. And Sean, were you back on Tuesday? Yeah. And yeah, Sean, we're back on Tuesday night uh, from 9 for Play by the Bell, playing an indie game of his choosing. So uh, yeah, we're hopefully now E3's out of the way and other things are out of the way we'll we'll get back to a bit more of a regular routine of our streams but if you've got um, Amazon Prime uh, then you also have Twitch Prime and we'd really appreciate your one free monthly subscription just go to our channel press subscribe and you can subscribe for us, subscribe to us for free and we really really appreciate that if you've loved um, the stuff we've been doing in terms of streams recently or this podcast or anything else we've done please think about uh, 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 supporting us on Patreon we're at patreon.com slash tcgs and I also want to say thank you to everyone who came to our channel our Twitch channel and watched the conferences with us we weren't going to do talks over because that would uh, sort of ruin ruin this show but it was amazing seeing so many people come to our channel to watch the streams with us watch the shows uh, it, yeah, it, was, was it was brilliant to see and like it's, it's awesome so thank you ever, ever, ever so much everyone who came um, came to do it and any more information you want about the pod just go to thecomputergameshow.com. Cool. Right. Um, God, how long has this been? Three hours and ten minutes. Although we did have a couple of breaks, so probably, what, about three hours by the time it's, it's done. That's about right, yeah. though. It's an E3 one. It's, it's, it's yeah. fun. I it's actually thought it be four hours, so I think we've done all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, cool. Uh, thanks for listening. Catch you on the streams or on the podcast next week. Thank you for letting us be natural. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Um, we've got we've a got confession. A, okay, break. go on. Got a bit of a confession, actually. I mean, yeah. I mean, Matt, do you want to do, wanna do it? <laughs> well, um, E3 was cancelled this year. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Made um, it all up. <laughs> it was LA is gone. No, um, the whole thing. We, yeah, uh, just, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if anything stuck stuck out at all, but. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure the Microsoft buying from thing was well bullshit. I'm sorry. Um, it's actually not. It was actually not that. It was the. Uh, there is no Fast Star Online two. Okay. That, I mean, um, it did seem odd. But I was. <laughs> <did> it? It? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went. Did it? I thought that would be. I thought that wouldn't be that bad. It, it's, it's, it's out in Japan, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been out in Japan for like years and years and years. No, I mean, I, I, sorry, what I meant to say was it did seem odd, but I was, I, it wasn't impossible and I was excited about it. So, cheers. Yeah. Sorry for breaking yeah, so, your heart. Sorry about that. We talk, yes. well, what, how can we get, how can we get Sean, like the thing he loves most <laughs> in the world? And we had a bit of like a, you know, thing. And, uh, but yeah, it does. Not happening. And probably will never happen, Fox actually, given, given all the stuff over there. So, uh, yeah, sorry yeah. about that. That's Fuck's sake. I don't well, thanks a lot, boys. <laughs> So, I'm so <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, it's all right. That, I'll just get a... the Japanese version and find the fucking language patch. Yeah, do that. Yeah, just be, um, yeah. be in Japanese server, asking if anyone's yeah, can it help you. Uh, how it yeah. works out. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sure, it'll be yeah. fine. Jesus. Right. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the proper sign off. Yeah. Once a week's embarrassing enough. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up doodling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. To the point where I nearly missed my plane because I was playing Killzone on it and it was awful. I had to run between the things.